Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Tuesday. <laughs> Had to think about that <laughs> That's for a second. Right. What day is it today? <laughs> Your best source <laughs> for the newest Atari 2600 games, and we prove that again tonight yes. with a world exclusive premiere of a new menu by Omega Matrix, who we're focusing on tonight. Mm. That is all we're playing tonight, is Omega Matrix games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what it is, is he's made a bunch of menus. Okay. That simplifies playing uh, some of the older Atari 2600, original kind of... Uh, like the original games. Original games, okay. and the original run, from 77 okay. to 92. Nice. Um, we're only playing menus yes. tonight. No nope. games. <laughs> Just staring at menus. No, we're going to play the actual games too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the games we're going to be playing tonight are Asteroids, okay. Championship Soccer, nice. Combat, Hangman, Indy 500, Space Invaders, Super Breakout, Video Olympics, and Warlords. Nice. Obviously we can't play them for very long, but we're going to make our <laughs> way through them. We're going to yeah. go for the more interesting uh, variations. Okay. Because a lot of people played these games mm. um, back in the day. You put it in, turn it on, go. Press go, and that's what most people played is the first variation. Like the standard variation, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. And some of these have dozens of variations, <laughs> up to over a hundred really? different styles of play. Okay. And some people don't even know that there's two player games in some of these games. Wow. So we're going to dive into some of those and take a look at the variations. And what these menus do is allow you to get into them and, and see them right up front, all the variations. Um, and we're going to take a look at the original matrixes that are in the manuals and see how they laid them out so you can kind of figure out Oh, you did it back the variations. then. Variations, okay, yeah. yeah, your options, I guess. Yeah, okay. It's a marathon, kind of. It is a marathon. Mm -hmm. It'll be a long show, maybe. We'll if see. If we did every single combination, every then combination, yes, we would be here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We're gonna do every combination. The first variation of asteroids is boring, and that's I, I remember playing that back in the day. Mm -hmm. We'll get into that. Yeah. Um, and just playing it forever because it was like really, really easy, mm -hmm. and I didn't know any better. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Uh, Al Nefer, Armscar Coder, Captain Classic, Catalox, Charles and Check, Coconut81, Dan APC, Daniel Medina2600, Drexel, Emmanuel Ferreira, Ferreira, yeah? Glenn Main, <laughs> Great Offender, uh, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm17, Carl G. Croco2600, Mark Space Inc., Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Money Fudster, Matt Packrat VG, Quahog2600, RC7, Eber, Pentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B7800, Socrates0603, Spartan581, uh, oh, and Nathan Strum, I know he subscribed recently. His name is right here. Yay! He subscribed just a couple, yeah, resubscribed a couple Excellent. minutes ago. So <laughs> add him in the list where he belongs. Mm -hmm. uh, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, the D Train 37, the Welshman 89, Dunkus, Tiki Dan K, Tim of Legend, and Teet Fos. And you can support the show and uh, subscribe for free and hear your name read out uh, at the top of the show. Uh, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe, and make sure you follow, subscribe, and click like on all the things. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, so you know about these all kind the of stuffs. special shows that are coming up. Yeah. <laughs> where we focus on specific developers and go through things they've done. And mm. today we're kind of doing a spotlight on Omega Matrix. Because it's all him today. That's nice. Yeah. I and think I did, it's good. Yeah. And I did do a Q&A with him. Yeah. I, I asked him a bunch of questions. Oh, cool. And so we're going to read out the answers oh, cool. on the show. Okay, good yep. stuff. Good stuff. Yep. Um, mail news and feedback. Oh, actually, I want to say a hey to everybody who is in the chat right now. Metal Lunar 7, Nutty 03, Nathan Strum, the D Train 37, Arena Foot, Omega Matrix 2600, who is the focus of tonight. Mm -hmm. Miss Command, uh, I supposed to. Uh, Carl G, uh, Johnny WC23, who else? Dan AVC. Spiceware's in there. Oh, Spiceware up Carl there. G. Carl G. Carl sure G. I'm repeating Pack things you said. VG. Uh, mm, lots of peoples. Let's see. I know Ooh. there's some names at the top. Al Nefer, Crossbow777, Phil, Captain Classic. Uh, 
we assume is Phil. And everybody else who's lurking. <laughs> and Flackets got yes. it just Woo. in time. Yes, yes. Uh, iced tea. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, it's not iced it's, tea? It's, um, not even Long Island iced no, tea? No, it's a sour beer. It's a passion fruit sour beer. It's oh, very sour. It, it, tastes, is a... it tastes like kombucha more than it does like beer. So, yeah, Long Island iced tea. It's funny someone mentioned that because I just watched a video the other day on how to make it, which is such a weird drink. But uh, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Nutty03 says, I love seeing a 1977 console streaming <laughs> yeah. to, streaming to twitch with all its might yes. it warms my heart yes and it does for me too <laughs> that's why i do it yeah it warms my heart every time yeah so i got this in the mail the other you can get day it, working. Yeah. it is amazing yeah. it still works it's a lot of technology that gets it doing out that, to the though. internet yeah <laughs> yes a lot more someday than... we'll figure out how to do it with the vectrix but <laughs> Yes, Miss Command, I think, was asking. Yeah. It's like, can you do a Vectrix show? Well, Could you capture digitally the image in no. a weird way with the no. laser on a capture? I, I, I feel like there, there no. should be some, like, you should be able to develop yes. technology that would then transfer it into an image. and. But at that point, you might as well use the Vectrix emulator because you're yeah, but, almost doing that anyway. But yeah, you're capturing from the original you source. I want to like, you, you I would, don't know. You would have to recreate it pixel wise anyway from the captured information. Yes, yeah. Atari, Atari, Atari or Bit. Thank you for following. Glad yes. you're enjoying the show. So I got this the other day um, from Colorado Springs. Let's see what it is. Uh, camera over the shoulder, yeah. That's that's the cheap yeah. way, is the camera for the Vectrix. Says, is your brain big enough? Links. It's a little button. System. Yeah. Hey, sorry. I'm opening things. Hey, 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 sorry. <laughs> Present time. Yes. Yep. Presents. So <laughs> it's a little pin here. Nice. Is your brain big enough? It's an Atari Lynx. Oh, nice. Pin. Or a pin. Let's get this off. I'm just going to, I'm going to apologize right away. I had a migraine a couple of days ago. So okay. I'm a little out of it. I'm, I'm still a little bit... Uh, Woozy. Uh, woozy, if that makes sense. Yeah. Swimmy. Yeah, a little How's swimmy. How's the beer working on that? Oh, I'm drinking a lot of water <laughs> with it, so okay. it's not very strong. Yeah. I'm gonna damage whatever this is. Yeah. So if I'm a little, if I'm a little out of sorts today, <laughs> from, <laughs> forgive me. From machine. Oh, you already machine. know who it's from. Oh. Arena You've been peeking at my mail, Arena Foot. <laughs> it all his... goes through Arena Foot before That's it arrives right. in Canada. That's <laughs> He's right. just sorting through. Sorting through everyone's mail. <laughs> Which is why it takes about, you know takes a lot three longer. Three months to get from the States. That's why the USPS <laughs> is slowing down because Arena yeah. Foot is looking at everyone's mail. Oh my goodness, yeah. there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh wow, oh my goodness. There's a membership card <gasps> to the Magic Num Thumb Club. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. The bearer of this card is a member in good standing of a Magic's Num Thumb Club and is entitled to all the rights and privileges associating with said membership. Card yes. invalid if not signed by the bearer. It's going to be invalid. I'm going to keep it invalid. I'm sorry. Uh, where sore thumbs are a way of life. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see that. It's very reflective. There we go. Um, first of all, I go close. How yeah, about this? it, it stays. Do, this. Oh, that does adjust, doesn't it? Yeah. That's actually a really good way of showing things off. Mm. Membership card. Much better, yeah. Uh, there are two of them in there. And they are exactly the same i bet everyone's is exactly the same yeah um and then i got a activision oh do that one last mm. uh an imagic numb thumb patch nice there we go mm. and these are from machine these are you can get these as well they're five dollars each on the atari age forums nice there we go um then is your brain big enough links atari nice um patch so Atari Lynx patch. Oh, I'll show nice. you. I'll show everyone under the uh, camera in a second. A Tempest 2000 Ooh, patch. Ooh, that's a nice. That's a that's a Actually embroidered. That's embroidered, embroidered one. Patch. Very that's really, very nice. Really nice. Yeah. Is he selling the card too? He is not selling the card. Um, I am guessing. No, some of them are, and some of them aren't mm. fully embroidered. It depends which one. Some are printed, one. some are embroidered. And but... you can tell by the pictures online. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Kabobber, Kabasher patch, which I got two shows ago. Nice, just I in earned time. two shows ago. There yep. we go. Going to need a bigger sash. Yeah, I, I already can't keep them up. <laughs> so you should get the sash because we need to put this one in All here. Right. I'm going to show these gonna have to on go down the, back. the camera here. 
<laughs> so there is the kebabber kebasher. Very nice. Now you can put that put one in. Put that one in. It's going to have to go down the back. Sorry. Oh no, in the back. Well, yeah, you're running out of space. Oh, and then the Tempest 2000. See if I can get that on the camera properly. Close back up. There we go. Very nice patch. And the Lynx patch. You can change the order of them if you want. Glad this isn't backwards. There we go. Is your brain big enough? And the Imagic Num Thumb Club patch. Very, very nice. Those are so hard to get. This one here. And I really, really doubt I will ever get an Imagic uh, score. This is the very height of community television. <laughs> Way up there, it's way up there, community television. One camera, <laughs> unwavering. There we go. Oh, and very nice. It's down the back. It's on the back. Oh, yep. Show yep. the back. I showed there it. It before. is Kebabber Kebasher. Yeah. Uh, you need fifty thousand. There we go. Oh, thank you, Arena Foot. <laughs> Funky fish is the worst thing on Atari. Hate Funky fish. I don't know what that is. Um, I want Maniac Miner on this system. What is that one? I played that. I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, uh, Machine. Uh, yes, I agree on this Yara. I'll have to tiara. work on that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. What, what would you put on the tiaras? Just general? You have to put, you could put oh, words or something. There'd be a big Atari symbol Ooh, on the top. Can, but I you have a make... lot of uh, extra EL wire in different colors, so I can, I can work you something out. You can make out. the Atari symbol. Oh my God, an Activision tiara. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can make the Atari symbol all the way around it as the little points oh yeah oh yeah oh there yeah. you go an oh. activision and then the rainbow all around it yeah on the base well it has to light up too so it will work on there that. you go <laughs> el wire lighting up all the way around yeah, I'll figure just it. like I'll, that i'll figure it out um so Sprybog uh wrote uh, a comment in the youtube on youtube mm -hmm. on the july uh, june 14th stream um where we played mega man uh by david galloway uh, DJ Mips, he said, hey guys, yep, I've stated here and there when I saw this game, uh, the uh, Mega Man, and saw what Batari Basic was capable of, I thought I'd give Batari a second go and try to port over a popular NES title with it. That being Super Mario Brothers, which you know is Princess Rescue. I'm still working on Robot Zed, and I'm actually working on it right now while I have this playing in the background. I got, I've got most of the code complete, I just need to work out a lot of bugs. <laughs> a lot of bugs. Uh, currently working on designing the rest of the levels, the new enemies that show up in them, and the new mechanics that is e unique to each level. I also have to program the boss battle for those stages too, but it's coming along. And he said that he will send over uh, a copy of Robot Z to us to play on the show when it's ready. Excellent. And uh, yeah, it's like Mega Man, where it's, oh, yeah, yeah. it's more mazy, unless he's changed it a lot. Mm. You're hopping through a kind of a maze. And there's enemies, and when you shoot those enemies, you can gain their powers mm. of the way they shoot, and they're different bullets. And some bullets go straight, some bullets like waver around, some bullets follow the maze, mm. some bullets dive. It's really, really cool. Mm. Fishing, yes, the fishing patch. I still have to earn that patch. Mm. So that that'll be on the list of uh, homebrew patches to to, to get. Um, Arita Foot is now working on a new book. Uh, that would Ooh. work as a checklist for homebrew collectors. Uh, it was suggested to him by the gamer who had the highest bid on the autograph books last year during the Stellathon. Uh, he's adapting his comprehensive homebrew list of physical releases, just the physical release ones, uh, that people will be able to use to keep track of which homebrews they have and which ones they still need. Hmm. Um, in the book, he'll have condensed listings of each title, including the name of the homebrew, the distributor, original price, the programmer, release variants, uh, genre, and the original release date. Uh, he's completed uh, the listing for A through G so far, and he was just wondering what people thought of the idea and if that's something they'd be interested in in a physical format. So it would be a book of every homebrew that was ever released on you know, on with a box or with a cartridge. And as you get them, you can say, yes, I have that one in the book. And they have little check boxes as well. So that would be really handy for collectors who want to get all the homebrew, which is near impossible. Mm. Just like getting all the Atari 2600 games is 
is Near impossible. impossible. Yeah. <laughs> it is impossible because there's just so many yeah. tiny runs out there. Of, and, of games, yeah. And same with the, the homebrew. There's like hacks and stuff that people made 10 of. It's yeah. like, good good luck. But mm -hmm. um, So uh, if you want to uh, let ArenaFood know, he's in the chat right now. Mm -hmm. um, so you can uh, let him know now if you yeah. think that's a great idea and whether you want it in uh, physical form that you can just actually check off and take them around to retro expos, I guess. And uh, so you know what you have. Uh, or which ones they'll never be able to get. Some of them are impossible. <laughs> I'm I'm sure he will say how many, like 50 printed or 100 printed or unlimited printed like at Atari age where they just keep printing them. Hmm. Um, or Princess Rescue, like we just talked about. Um, so Spiceware actually prompted the idea for the episode tonight, uh, focusing on menu hacks done by Omega Matrix. And he wrote, I think you should do an episode on just on the menu hacks. For each uh, game showed the game matrix uh, we used to look at because of how expensive ROM used to be. Mm -hmm. And then how we use the select to pick the variant we wanted. Some games with a lot of options like Space Invaders supported a fast advance through the variations by holding down select and reset. So mm -hmm. I'll show that one as an example. Uh, yeah, of what it was. And we won't show every single one of them because they're all almost exactly the same yeah. they just show like a one two three four on the yeah. screen yeah yeah um so this uh that's what we're going to be doing tonight is focusing on what omega matrix has done mm -hmm. and he has converted the matrixes that came in the manuals for these games into gorgeous menus mm -hmm. like really nice menus that lays out all the options right in front of you if it's like one or two players he'll put on the screen one or two players because back then, there are very few games that had menus because it took up a lot of space on the cartridge and they would just rather not do that. <laughs> I had not spend the money to put... Uh, I walked away. What did you miss? <laughs> Arena Foot. <laughs> you, you scroll back. I Because I, all his, na his names are like, his, Arena Foot, Arena Foot. It's like, why, why are people saying my name? Anyway. Oh. Um, so uh, Omega Matrix um, decided to make these menus and make them more accessible um, mm. for people wanting to play these games. Mm -hmm. um, so a little intro to Omega Matrix. He's programmed uh, Circus Atari Age, Crazy Tunes, a ton of hacks, uh, a bunch of trackball hacks, which I have here, uh, Millipede, um, Space mm -hmm. Master X7, mm -hmm. and Star Wars the Arcade Game. And what he did with these is make made them available to use the trackball um, because that's what was used in the arcade for these and so made them much closer to the original arcade game because there were no trackball games made for the 2600 even though there was a trackball made yeah yeah <laughs> it's crazy um uh a bunch of pal ntsc conversions uh um and menu hacks that we're going to play today and the soon to be released venture reloaded that's going to be coming soon to the cool. atari age store in box it's awesome. Mm. I'm definitely picking that one up when it comes out. And there were a couple guesses for the mystery menu game. Because oh, yeah. we are debuting one tonight. Nice. A brand new menu game yep. at the end of the show. Yep. Uh, some guesses. Human Cannibal, Human Cannonball was guessed by Brian Mathern and Captain Classic. Uh, Star Raiders was guessed by da Dan Iacovelli. Dan ABC. Uh, Outlaw was guessed by Slope Toff don't know what his name is on here these were from um facebook from facebook yeah. okay and air sea battle but was guessed by john shampoo mm -hmm. um and there was a lot of requests in the atari age thread where he actually posts these mm -hmm. uh, menu hacks um a lot of them were fulfilled so I, I just got rid of those out of the list um some that have been requested defender which has 20 variations human cannonball which i said before has 16 variations um circus atari uh 14 variations maze craze 64 variations mm. uh missile command 34 variations surround 14 variations air sea battle 27 variations bowling with six and somebody suggested miniature golf that has two variations mm. wouldn't be a very exciting menu <laughs> so <laughs> i doubt he'll do miniature golf but you never <laughs> know uh, yeah. Human Cannibal was your guest. Yes. yes. And I did mention that. Yes. So, um, his menus actually date back f 
further than the ones that we're going to play tonight. And mm -hmm. um, Omega Matrix uh, said you should show this one in the show as well. Mm -hmm. And it's actually Doctor versus Daleks um, okay. from 2016, uh, done by I Sposta. Uh -huh. And uh, this is a hack of Berserk. With Doctor Who themes? With Doctor Who themes. Nice. <laughs> and in-game audio uh, samples. Oh, Not cool. using the Atari Vox. Oh. So very similar to Draconian. It doesn't okay. play the game while the samples are going, but it has samples in the game. In the game. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Guess is all over the place in Mega Matrix. Yeah. Says, yes. um, so we're going to take a look at um, Berserk. And it has it has twelve variations, but first we're going to take a look at the matrix for Berserk, and show you kind of I'm going to show you each time. Um, That's quite the matrix there. Before the game, what the wow. different variations are. Okay. Um, so for this game, one second, because I mean. Oh, that doesn't work. Anyway, um, so all Berserk games are for one player only, so there's no two-player two, two player variations. Um, you can see along the top, it says game number 1 through 12, mm -hmm. and that would be on your screen as you flick so you through the variations. So you would through the 12 variations. Yeah, yeah and it would just be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. And sometimes the screen change depend, depending on the variation. Mm. And then, so you would look through this chart and go, what options do I want, what mm. options don't I want? So bonus life every 1,000 points, bonus life every 2,000 points, no bonus lives, mm. no evil auto, rebound evil auto, invincible evil auto, wow. no shooting robots, and shooting robots. And you go, which wow. options do I want? And you go, okay, orange, yellow, green, and they go, oh, option seven. That's the one I want. I want no bonus life, no evil auto, and shooting robots yeah. for variation seven. Yeah. And then you would flick through um, to number seven. Gotcha. So, um, actually, let's should we take a look at Berserk because the example... No, let's take a look at... Um, what was the big one that had tons of variations? Um, Space Invaders. Yeah, so we can show off the select and reset. So let's go over to the 2600. One second. There you go. Thank you. Um, so go down to 1977 to 1992 and then go to Space Invaders and then we'll show off what... You can go to the right to go faster. Oh, you went past it. Up. There you go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not actually playing. No. It's kind of a cool thing. It's like, well, you can't... I think you can even get killed, but you can't shoot in the uh, no. non-playing kind of demo attract mode. But anyway, you would uh, you can see in the cat cam, which I still need to label. Um, <laughs> the cat cam. You press game select, and at the top left, it changes the number, right? Mm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you press reset and start the game. This one's invisible. Uh, oh, I can shoot. Enemies, plus their, their shots are like crazy. Um, and this one had fast, so if you hold it down, it goes pretty fast, 24, 25. But if you want to go really fast, you hold down both. And I didn't know that till Spiceware told me, actually, that you could go fast. Look at that. Mm. Go random, number 50. And this happens to be a two-player. But we'll get into that mm. later. So let's take a first uh, look at his menu before the menus. Wait, one second, one second, one second. Because uh, I don't want to give away what the me mystery game is. Okay. Um, so go to today's date. Uh, what is today's date? <laughs> well, the only one there with a date. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're going to be going to the next screen. Doctor versus Daleks. That yes, one? that one. Doctor Who theme, and it could get us um, 
flagged. <laughs> so this is his first menu that he made for uh, an old game, uh, Berserk, updated. I mean, this one is not the exact game because no. it's been hacked and you can see the little one. Yeah. Um, the robot at the bottom going back and forth and it shoots dog. once in a while. Yeah. Little dog. Mm -hmm. um, so the original game was 4K mm -hmm. and this game is 32K. Yeah. And I think a lot of that was the samples. So you can go through the menu. So you can see the bonus lives are changeable. Uh, Cyberman, Rebound, Invincible. Of course, it's been changed from Evil Auto to Cyberman because it's yes. a different game. Um, and whether the Daleks shoot or not. So we can start the game, mm. and there's some samples in it. Oh, different types of shooting. Yeah, different types of shooting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Canine! Thank you, Omega Matrix. Yeah. Mm. Crazy sounds. Shoot! And between each level, there's a different uh, audio sample. Good job! Where's the uh, Cyberman? Down or up? Oh, he moves fast. <laughs> what was that? Alert, alert, alert. Ah, run. Oh, you turned off. No, they're shooting. Okay. They're shooting. They'll shoot each other and run into walls. They're very stupid. <laughs> he moves fast. Shh. <laughs> Couldn't hear him. Couldn't hear you were talking. Oh, they move. So at the end of each level, don't talk because they're sent. I think it's alert, alert, alert. Nice TARDIS sample. <laughs> and, uh... I missed it. So Mega Matrix just sent me an update because uh, there were some uh, lingering issues with this game. But he fixed them. Exterminate! Um... So, Omega Matrix says, uh, also, I wanted to mention a lot of people have asked for Berserk um, as as one of his menus. Mm. And he says, I feel like I've already done that in a way, which he kind of has, he has. done. Oh. I, mean, I mean, it is a hack, but he has kind of already done it in this menu system. So, if you pretty much ignore the, um, <laughs> the change of the graphics, this is Berserk. Uh, I created the menu for Doctor vs. Daleks Hack. That was a lot of fun animating K9, but I don't feel inspired to make another menu for Berserk. Berserk right now. <laughs> Did you die? No. Okay. Um, then he said, just a heads up. For the Doctor vs. Dalek, ROMs have a few bugs in them. My bad, not Michael's. From memory, was missing a number in front of, the, of a constant for three locations. I don't think Michael ever updated the ROM, though. If you use developer's mode in Stella, it'll be garbage on the screen. Player's mode in real hardware will probably not show it, and I did do a test before the show. And it is fine. And I don't think anybody else in the thread is complaining. Oh, you zapped your head! I know, I do that all the time. Also, Michael made the logo for the title screen, music, and the speech. I did all the game expansion uh, title screen. Oh, they're shooting fast now. Oh. Nice. Bugs that I made. <laughs> Lol. Oh, so there oh. is Berserk. Oh, mm. And this is what happens in old school games when it's game over. They vary. They go through color cycling. Yeah. So that it uh, doesn't burn in your screen. Mm. Very nice. Um, so we're going to move on to uh, Asteroids from 1981. Um, but this is a 2020 menu update. Mm. So... Hold that. Uh, you want to hide it? Uh, yes. Uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, menu options actually first for asteroids because we haven't looked at that yet. So let's see. <laughs> I think this one is asteroids. Yeah. Okay, so the game select matrix for asteroids. Um, so it kind of split it up like one player is the variations along the top and two players is the variations along the bottom. I'm pretty sure this is asteroids. Whew, that's a lot Speed, of numbers. Yeah. Slow and fast. Yeah. Extra life at 5,000. I'm going to say. Yeah. And 10,000, 20,000. Uh, let me get the manual up here, actually. Um, and then no extra lives. Uh, mm. Features H and SH. Um, they used abbreviations. H, SH, FL, and W. Uh, so those are the fast four. Fast and slow. Yeah. Um, 
hyperspace, shields, uh, FL is flip, and W is without features because mm. um, the button is fire, forward is thrust, and then back is the extra feature. Mm. So you can only select one extra feature as opposed to the arcade where you could have other buttons. You could have all these very, all these extra things. Yeah. Uh, if you know binary, it's easy to decipher. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and, um, let's see the lives. F yeah. 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 points, depending on the game number you choose. Mm. Um, the tougher game variations don't provide any extra spaceships. So if you wanted like a hard game, you would pick no lives and I guess, uh, oh, the speed, the fat asteroids travel. You'd pick a fast. So an F and an N which would be at game variation 8, uh, 16, uh, 24, and 32. Mm. And then there's a... Uh, children's? Children's on number 33. Which has everything dialed down? Is that the idea? Or? Uh, let's see what it says. Because you would think that would just be the easiest option of all it's, of them. Yeah. I mean... Oh, games 33 through 36. <gasps> what? No. 33 through 36? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, 33... But 34, 34 is two 35, players. 35, 36. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. No. I think they had a mistake in that. Mm. Uh, these game features slow asteroids, hyperspace, and an extra ship uh, every 5,000 points. Slow... Uh, what? No, they're lying. They're lying <laughs> in the menu. Yeah. Uh, what's missing is the UFO satellites can be enabled or disabled with the difficulty switches in the game selection matrix. Mm. So some of the variations are controlled through the AB, AB switch. Okay. Yeah. So, um, not oh, that with makes the color. for a lot of variations. It does. Yeah. So that quadruples this, um, this matrix. If all AB, like AA, 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 AB, BA, oh. BB. If they use all those independently, um, that that can quadruple it because yeah. there's four times as many options. And uh, difficulty switches in asteroids. The game has two difficulty levels, A and B. B is for normal game for beginners. Um, and uh, the, uh, the A level offers a bigger challenge with the addition of the UFO and satellites. UFOs are tough to hit, but each one is worth a thousand points. Satellites are larger and easier to destroy. We'll actually get you going. So if you could um, load it up, sure. and then I'll switch it over. Top one, asteroids. And look at that menu screen. That is nice. Beautiful with the parallax star field going by. Some of the stars are so distant, they're not even moving. <laughs> You have to be going very, very, very fast in space to make stars zip by. <laughs> we'll pretend they're satellites with uh, little lights on them. So you've got the title screen, you've got the number of players, the speed of the asteroids, yeah. the amount for a new life, then you've got which option that pulling back does. And you can see in the bottom What's right... What's the plus is for the UFO tag? Because it's still variation six but it's the switches. Yes, right? yes, yes, yeah. So you can see as you change all the options, it changes the variation number. So, so if I go shields... It's 14 plus. Uh, so okay, stop on one of them. Okay, 22. Yep. So you've got one player, fast, new life 20, and flip. Yeah. So if you look at 22, which I won't switch here, uh, but they can see it. Yeah. Uh, fast, mm -hmm. 20, flip, there it is. Yeah. So it tells you exactly. Yeah. Translates exactly. So it's it's handy that he he added those in, so yeah. you can translate back and forth. And the plus would be from the switch. So much more user friendly <laughs> to uh, do it. hundred percent. Yes. So I think, um, and I'll I'll get into the Q and A's, but he wanted to re reinvigorate these games so that they're more approachable mm. for people to go and play them now because, you know. Most people don't look up in the manual all the variations. So, so what did you pick? Fast? Fast. <laughs> Fast asteroids. Uh, 20,000 for extra life. And flip. Ah! Uh, when you pull back. 
so this was originally an 8K F8 game, and now it's a 16K F6 game. And um, obviously, oh, there's the UFO. It's coming to get you. Oh, it got hit by an asteroid. Uh, so obviously, some of that went into the menu itself. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, too much. Mission accomplished. I played Hangman two hours last week. Ah. It's the little things. Well polished menu. Atari Texas 01 says very nice. Notice the cursor is your ship. Oh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's yeah. it's pointed sideways. It looks like a pointer. Yeah, but, but it is. It's ship. your ship. Ah. Yep, it is the little things. The little, little touches. When you expand the ROM, it always doubles. Only one bank for the menu, though. One bank unused. <gasps> okay, okay. So an 8K... Uh, 4K bank? 4K bank? Yeah, because the original game's 8K. Oh, press the button. Does it do anything? No, you have to reset. Oh, Mega Matrix. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, so if you go game select, it goes back to the Oh, menu. I see. Nice. And if you do reset, it plays the same game over yeah. again. So, Oh, UFO. How did you Versus get that? Versus player one player, because well, it said two players. Oh, because you flipped it to two players. So, um, what do you want to do? I think this is alternating. I don't think it's the same time, but let's find it. Because there's not much point in playing alternating. Oh, I see. But UFO like I versus said, player one. Uh, oh, we can do it for both. Oh, you can choose to not have the UFO for each player. Because uh, neat. Oh. neat. Okay, so it's forty-two plus plus. So I'm guessing. So the A B and A B was for player one and player two, and right. the difficulty switches. Yes. Yeah. It must have been. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah, it's one at a time. It's no point. What do you mean? No, it doesn't no. really change the game playing two players. It's just, oh, I get to, get to play now. So I'll let you play for a bit. We'll go to some of the questions. Um, Asteroids has 66 variations, or no. actually a lot more with the difficulty switches. Oh, it's uh, your turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can Let's reset it if it's menu. easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So right. try some of the different variations. Um, you did the flip the first time, so try no, hyperspace. I, I, did hi I did hyperspace. Oh, okay. But did you actually shields. use it? No. What is it? What? You pull back. Oh. Hyperspace makes you go to a different oh, spot. Oh, so if I pull back, I get a shield this yeah. time. Oh, shield okay. Shield again, because yeah. you probably actually use that. Shield, shield. I don't think it lasts forever. No, it does not. It's like, <laughs> like on Satan's Hollow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, Satan's Hall. Oh, I love Satan's Hall. So I asked um, Omega Matrix a bunch of questions. Uh, first one, what is your motivation behind adding the menus to these classic Atari 2600 games? Um, Tempest pointed the idea of adding menus to old games. It was a damn good one on so many levels. The original game could be used, could use the benefit uh, when it had a huge amount of variations, which some of them are over 100. Uh, it would also draw people to play and experience the game uh, again or for the first time. I imagine I myself am guilty of only playing the first variation of each game. And and that's the same as me too. I When I played Atari um, back in the early 80s, always, usually, <laughs> I didn't get the manuals with it because they were just loose cartridges. The manuals would get lost or thrown away. Yeah. And you'd be like, I have no idea what all these numbers are. And I'll just play game one, right? And you didn't even know that there was a, a two-player game yeah. built into it. Or, That's you know, funny. all these variations of, of shield. I never knew there was a shield. And aren't you having a shield? Use a shield. I keep forgetting the shields there. <laughs> I'm not used to it. I'm trying to control. What a different variation no well same yeah one? same one same one okay yeah i don't play this game a lot so. <laughs> <laughs> as is evident <laughs> yeah. um so cool game. after after some time uh went by nobody had picked up on tempest ideas uh ideas so i took it on i'm an excellent assembly coder and a creative too when those two things cross you can sometimes get cool and unusual stuff uh, these menus are also small enough projects that I could execute before feeling burnout. Mm. Each menu takes some time, somewhere in the range of 40 to 50 working hours. So you can now see how long this takes. Um, and that's from a self-admitted, self-admitted excellent, uh, assembly coder. And that's just the menus. But some of these are really elaborate menus, as you'll see. 
going on. Like this one is is this quite. This one enough. has quite a few variations to take into uh, consideration. It seems. Yeah. Yes, and he had the the star field going by as well. Yes, yes, which yes. Which is gorgeous. Um, uh, but have as a definite end state in sight. This is important to avoid burnout. Keep hitting forward instead of back. <laughs> Uh, without a doubt, Space Rock's hands down. Uh, I like how much love and attention and detail went into each of these. Love for this game for Space Rocks is a favorite too, of course. Space Rocks takes takes asteroids to the next level, closer to the arcade. Um, the only games that I played much, played multiple variations on, uh, was mostly the multiplayer games, exception of Space Invaders. Slot cars, ma maze craze, space war, etc. Captain Classic says. Um, this question, uh, next question. What made you choose these specific games? What criteria are you, are you looking for when you choose a game? I first started with the games that had a lot of variations as they needed the most help. I may choose a game, but work on it does not begin until I can find the theme in my head. That's necessary for execution. If I don't get that, then I can't force myself to do all the work. I may also have done some games that might not be the funnest or have the most variations, but absolutely had a theme that appealed to me and drove me to create the menu. So he has a multiple um, motivation to do the, the menus. Sometimes he just has an idea for the menu. Oh, oh, hyperspace? Teleport. Yes, teleport. Hyper, yeah. it's hyperspace. <laughs> Same thing. Teleport on a 2D plane. Oh, the bullet went right through that. Get the UFO! He's gonna crash. Oh, oh you shot him? I shot him, but then I got shot. Um, the Warlords and Asteroids menus are particularly impressive, I asked. Um, are games sometimes chosen because you have an idea for a great menu, or does that game choice, or does the g game choice always come first? And he says, truthfully, it can be either way. Teleport and die. Yep. I don't think anyone likes hyperspace options. <laughs> because you could end you up... You don't know where you end up. I, I mean, shield is infinitely better than hyperspace. I think you're right. You because you know to. where you are. Oh my ah, god. Ah, ah, Get towards the empty area. I'm trying to. Oh, you're no. just accelerating. Oh. oh. Should have hyperspace down there. Yep, definitely. Comes the white, red, uh, the white ones coming, and hey, I, I pulled back. Oh well, so much for that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to the next game. <laughs> Carl G. I don't think anyone likes hyperspace, and that's why. <laughs> yeah, random yep. death. Random death. So, next game on our list. Going back and forth between two different. Um, ah, my God, scrolly, scrolly. Um, is, and I'm, we're, do, we're doing them in alphabetical order, because why not, is Championship Soccer. And let me show you the matrix for that. You can load that up. Okay. Um, oh my god. What? Oh, oh, oh. That doesn't work at all. So, we have to go back here. For me to do mm. this properly. Mm -hmm. Um... There we go. This one is a lot of variations. Oh my god. So Championship Soccer it, from 1981. Um, this has 54 variations, as you can see on the screen there. That's a lot of variations. Um, divided up into two player, uh, two player and single player, but they just have it uh, divided up team speed, penalties, and goal size. And let me go to the manual so we can know what those are. Because there's lots of uh, S's and L's and N's all over the place. Yep. Uh, referee, the clock, the play, limits, out of bound plays, console controls, game strategy. Oh my god, here we go. Uh, team speed. So slow, um, S team speed mm -hmm. looks like when you play two player smf yeah both teams have the same speed so slow mm -hmm. moderately fast <laughs> not medium, medium moderate, moderately fast and, and fast. fast okay yeah. 
Uh, penalties, uh, N, S, and S, G. N for no penalties. Sidelines and goal lines rebound the ball. So it doesn't go out of play. It doesn't go out of okay. play. Uh, S, penalty of ball goes over the sidelines. S, G, penalty of ball goes over the sidelines or goal lines. Uh, goal size, large, medium, small. Um, very simple. Uh, computer difficulty, and that would only apply to um, single player. Yeah. Ch changes from penalties to computer difficulty. I wonder what the penalties are when you're playing the computer. Hmm. Obviously, it maybe you just always All? have yeah. the penalties. Computer difficulty, E for easy, M for moderately difficult, <laughs> and T <laughs> for difficult, not medium. <laughs> Um, that's medium funny. difficulty no oh yeah in the bottom in a uh, note in single player games sidelines and goal lines rebound rebound so it just is the rebound omega the matrix slayer there yeah you go. <laughs> that's a good one uh yeah only fitting omega nice. matrix 2600 made menu games or require a game menu game matrix yeah mm. um game time game game times depends upon the team speed selected um so team speed Slow is three minutes, medium is four minutes, fast is five minutes. Okay. And it's a huge matrix, as you can see there. So let's get to looking at his incredible menu. Beautiful. Look at that soccer ball. It's lovely. It's like a That's big... A really good soccer it, it's ball. It's gorgeous, and it's on the pedestal like the trophy would be on. It's yes. like the, the soccer ball on the pedestal. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I like that. That's That looks really, really good. Yeah. Um, and then he's got all the go-through-the-menu mm -hmm. items. Oh, oh. No. Up, left and right. Yes. One, two, and then you've got the slow, medium, fast. Right. Medium, not moderate. Hey, he's correct. <laughs> Penalty, none. Sidelines, sidelines and goal, none. Yep. And then the net, large, medium, small. Yep. Kickoff. Starts. And starts just, it. Rather than start. start. And he's included the game variation in the bottom right. Yeah. So go to single player. Al and the Fur just subscribe. Thank Yay. you very much, Al. We oh. got an emote. Yay. Oh, a new emote. What is it? It's a spiky ship It's like or a something. fist pushing into the oh, ground. Oh, and another one, too. D-Train oh. got one. Four months. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, sure. Okay, so. One player? Uh, go for one player for now, and you pick whatever you like. I'll pick easy, because I've never played this game before. Okay. <laughs> so And slow. And we'll go with a medium net. I have no idea how this works. So you are brown? Yeah. Ah! Get it. Yep. Get it. Ah! Kick it. Kick it. Yeah, you're winning. How do I kick it to the person in front? Try the button. I don't know how that works. I'm apparently a terrible soccer player. No, you're got him. You're doing well. Get it. Get it. Ah! Get it in the goal. No! <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying this. <laughs> Um, so I'll get to some more uh, information about this game. No, why am um, I kicking it backwards? It was originally, originally named Pele's Soccer until that ran out, and they just had to change it to Championship Soccer. Um, so let's read some more questions. Were there any challenges in creating the menus? Yeah! Oh, look at that! <laughs> wow. That's quite a celebration for one goal. Ah, but I guess ah, it starts up right away! In soccer, it is quite a celebration if you get one goal. Because it's a low-scoring game. Yeah. Well, why nope. are you, why are you way. going that way? Other way. <laughs> I'm not trying oh, to... No! Ah, no! <laughs> I had this when it was Pele Soccer. I think I might have Pele Soccer variant as well. Button button hold down longer you kick, kick it. So there you go now you're oh, kicking now it now that makes a little bit more sense ah now i just gave it to him no no so were there any challenges in creating the menus or any surprise options that were originally inaccessible through the select oh, switch the so there's always challenges every single time not even one time has been without challenges however i've been doing 2600 assembly and disassembly for so long that i have a big pool of experience to draw from uh, to solve them but the challenges are always there Um, the fun challenges are figuring out how to draw the screen. It's all a puzzle, and I love puzzles. Uh, my constraints for these menus are no use of flicker, 
No screen jumps between the menu game and game menu transitions. Very nice, especially for people who are using um, digital really televisions, so it doesn't blank out the television. This is a totally weird game. Sorry. And, <laughs> and no more than 4K new space for the menu code. So all of his menus are done in 4K, which some of them, it's pretty impressive, um, especially the ones with animation, um, like the uh, Asteroids one. Goal! Metal Lunar says, nice, you are killing it. <laughs> no. Two to one. No, it's going Me the wrong way. I'm trying to get the it that way. Gotta get the... Hold it down for longer. Longer. Oh. There you go. Oh, oh almost. no! This uh. is so weird, this game. This game <laughs> is so weird. Because you automatically kick it, right? Yeah, you do. It's like, it's like a timing game almost. Uh, the final constraint is that my work shall look different each time, which is a good thing to do. Uh, these games were mostly made by different people, and the game menu should not look like they were done by the same person. It also helps keep it fresh. Uh oh, don't kick it that way. You have Why? to get on the. No. Other... Oh, this... you almost. Oh. No, that. Oh, it changed sides. What? Yes, it did. Didn't I? Why didn't that score? He must have blocked it. He did. Just caught it. Uh, Omega Matrix says, I learned from Andrew Davies' lessons reading disassemblies made by Thomas. Yeah, I am uh, reading over and over again Andrew Davies' um, lessons as well. They're really well laid out, as well as Daryl Spice Jr.'s lessons as well. So the combination of those two really help you learn programming on the 2600 because they approach very differently how to program. One, like Andrew Davies starts with drawing the play field first which actually is helping a lot with my game because my game relies a lot on the play field uh oh <laughs> and uh daryl spice jr starts with oh, terrible. the uh sprites oh you saved it oh you saved it again nice um oh still winning because what? this thing fell out yeah we gotta take care uh. of that that was a nice passing score okay now it's time to play me <laughs> Or should I let the clock run out? I'll let the clock run out. No, 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 no. There's how You're many winning. How You're many winning. periods are there? Or what oh, is it? I, don't I, know. I can't remember. I haven't played soccer in a long time. <laughs> Going the wrong know. way. <laughs> Guess it depends on. on this game, what they did. I think there's three. Three? I mean it's definitely not as long as soccer, so or football. As known outside of the yeah. US. Nice. Highest scoring game of soccer I think I've ever played. <laughs> Four to two? Probably the highest anybody has. <laughs> um, no, just joking. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, no! What is the time limit? Oh, yeah, they said the time limit. What did you pick for the team speed? Oh, slow. So it's three. I think. Or, yeah, slow. Slow. It's two halves, three minutes a half. So you're down to uh, the last 50 seconds. No. No. You're, bu you're up by two. No! The soccer ball in the menu screen ah. uses all five objects. Wow. And the background color beside it. Oh, I should load that up. No. We'll take a no. look at that. No. And the background color beside it. Does it use the play field, though? It doesn't use the play field. <laughs> it says player zero, player one, menu, uh, missile zero, missile one, and ball. Which you probably don't need. It looks like the globe in debug color. It looks like a globe in debug color. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, because it all looks crazy, probably. Oh, getting close. One more goal. No. There. Oh, oh, no. he stole it from you. Six, Six seconds. Can you get a goal? Three, two. Last chance. One second. One more. Oh. oh. Two, one. Four to three. That's fine. Two halves. I know. I'm like, I haven't played soccer in ages. Okay. So let's play two player <sighs> on slow so it's over quick. Okay. Select the menu. I've already won. Yeah. Can you win again? <sighs> Speed slow. Uh, yeah. It's the fastest game. Yeah. <laughs> let's go for penalties. Yep. Sidelines. Both. Yep. Side and goal. Big net. Okay. Large? Yep. Kick off. Who's okay. Who? I don't know. Okay. You're brown. going on here oh 
<laughs> yes. First Wait, 10 yeah. seconds play. Completely unfair. <laughs> Is it? Yes. <laughs> Oh. oh, that is a big net. Oh, kicked it off. Oh, nice. Interesting. Oh, my <laughs> God. So now what? How does this work? Oh, you just get to pick it up. And what? You, you put it offside immediately. Oh, that is so stupid. That is a bit weird. I don't know what. No, don't kick it. No! <laughs> you can't control the kicking. Like, it it's, automatically It's really... Kicks. Yeah, it does. Maybe we should put it... Could have... Should have picked no, no offsides. Ah! Oh, it's not where I wanted it to go. That's really weird. No! You have to get... You have to get ah, behind it. kicked it to you. Yeah, you have to get behind it. Because it dictates what direction you kick it in. Oh my god, I can't come out of the goal! Oh! No, no, no! No, no! Oh! No! Don't kick it that way! Don't kick it that <laughs> way! The players are idiots! Oh my god! You have to... Stop kicking it that way! I couldn't get around it! Oh, what the hell? What? <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Just keep giving you penalties. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, definitely better without them. Yeah. No. Does it matter which side the ball is on you? I guess it does. Oh, my God. Don't kick it that way. Oh. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Oh, it does use playfield. Oh, okay. Well, we'll take a look at that right after. Because that's one of the biggest... I think Warlords is a pretty big um, pretty big uh, character on the screen, too. Because it goes right across. Oh, my God. So that's a, that'd be an interesting one to look at in debug mode. No. No, no, no. I can't quite reach it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think the goalie should be able to come out. It takes... It's a little weird. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the goalie it's should so be. It's <laughs> so weird not being able to come out of it. Ugh. Because it's, like, right in front of you, but it's like, no, I'm not coming out. No, you have to get oh, it. Oh, it's me. Yeah. I, I can't affect it. Oh, no! Ugh. Get it. You yes! Know, you know what I have a hard time is figuring out who I'm controlling, the goalie or the people. Both. Because... At no, you're not. Yeah. You're not. No, you're not. The goalie doesn't move at certain times. What? Yes. Oh. At, at a certain point, it flips over to the goalie, and. Well, when you're close enough, he definitely moves. Ugh. It's weird because if you get in, if you go the wrong way, you kick it in the wrong direction. Yes. You know, so you have to get behind oh, it all the, the time. Hell? Oh, am I going the other way now? What? No. Oh, I yeah, am. you are. Well, well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Still not sure about how long it kicks for. <gasps> oh, that was close. Oh, see, <laughs> see oh, it's really that's really obnoxious. What? What the hell? What is? What just happened there? I don't know. The ball just went crazy, like it transported itself to the corner. Ugh! I really, <laughs> really <laughs> grossly. Oh, well, some good passing going on. Yes! You go side to side, but your guys go front and back. It's really weird. No. No, 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 no. Yes. Get it up there. Get it up there. Come on. <sighs> Ah, oh, stole it. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, nice. Terrible. Oh, that was almost in your own goal. Not smart move. What? What, what happened? Is, things are, things, there's a bug in this uh, soccer game where the ball transports itself sometimes. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, kick it offside. You can't, if it's in the corner, what's really obnoxious is you almost always hit it to the side <laughs> because it automatically kicks. 
it will automatically kick the direction you're moving. Yep. And that's yes! the problem. <laughs> so you have to be careful when you touch the ball. What direction? Well, what side of it you're the on? The timing of when you kick it too is like. No, 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 no. This whole. See, it's not like you purposely kick it to the no, left. You're you just don't. moving left, so. Yes, oh. five. There's no coming back <laughs> from it now. 39 seconds left. Ugh. Takes a bit of getting used to the way to play this game. It, it's it's the angles is really what's, uh, what's really obnoxious with this particular game. 13 seconds left in the game. Oh, it was close. Kick it to me. Kick it to me. Thank you. Oh, see, I'm not trying to move backwards. Ooh. And oh, it's over. you won. Good Five, game. Four. Good game. Very good. If you push the button, can you hold the ball? No, it's the opposite. No. Pushing the button. You, it kicks the ball. It kicks the ball and it kicks it further. So you can't actually... Yeah. Carl G, next game, there's still eight to go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There are quite a few. <laughs> it is. This is the next game. We're just going to take a look at the... Um... Fence is always slightly faster than the offense, yes, which is good. Menu hack for this because it is a very nice uh, screen. Take a look at it really quickly here. Um, oops. Come on. Stop it. There you go. There's the... What is it called when you do this? Debug colors. There mm. you go. So you can see the ball is made mm -hmm. up of like just about everything. Yes. Or it is made up of everything. Yeah. All the different uh, types of... Oh, that didn't work. There you go. So you can see it's made up of player zero and red, player one and yellow, playfield and purple. Um, background goes in behind it. Uh, missile zero in orange, missile one in green. Oh, maybe it's not using, yeah, it's using playfield. So the green down the middle there uh, and the ball down the left. So he's using absolutely everything. Mm. Um, okay. So, we're on to the next game. Let me get that out of the way. Back to the camera. Hopefully you saw that. Uh, okay, so the next game is Combat. The one that is the pack-in title for the Atari 2600. Reset this. And I think everybody did play a lot of the variations. Didn't work. Um, on combat because uh, they're very visible. What the changes are Ugh. in combat. Because they changed a lot of the um, the look of the tanks to planes mm -hmm. and different variations and triplicates and non-triplicate so this is quite an extensive menu here got the combat i'm not sure what those triangles are for <laughs> just going crazy there no i'm just showing them off. okay um so let's actually look at the um matrix for this first is this it yes this is it there's the game matrix. Quite a lot of variations here. So you can see his tank, tank mm -hmm. pong, invisible tank, invisible tank pong, yeah, biplane and jet fighter. Mm. Um, and then within those, uh, guided two, missiles, straight three. missiles, machine yeah. guns, direct hit, billiard billiard hit, which is uh, bouncing and you can bouncing see shots, yeah. those are for the pang, the pong, pong. variations so yes. it bounces off the walls yeah 
open field sky. It means there's no blockages. It's just a yeah open area. Um, I believe easy complex easy maze, maze complex maze clouds. clouds. There's no clouds with tanks because no, we're on the ground. Obviously. Yeah. Um, and then biplanes, uh, same kind of missiles. Um, open field, open sky slash sky. Mm. And this is where clouds do come in. Mm. So there you go. And uh, then you can see at the top on the biplanes and jet fighters, um, it tr duplicates your planes or triples your planes and also makes them wide and mm. small as well. But those were all very, very visible. So I think a lot of people took advantage of combat. They went through all the different styles. Yes. Yeah. I vote for, yeah, you guys should vote for which one we should play. <laughs> um, yeah. Because there's so many variations. Yeah. Invisible tank pong. Bullard shots only. <laughs> Billiard. Billiard. Bullard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Invisible tank pong. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Let's do it. So this game shipped in 1977 with the system. It was the pack-in game. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's a great pack-in game because it has a lot of variations. A lot of options, yeah. you got to love that. So let's go back to the 2600. There you go. So, uh, so there's, it changes the color in the background. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Invisible. Combat's Matrix is awful. <laughs> uh, and they didn't really say which one for the mazes or anything. Short shots, far shots. We'll go for far. Makes it pretty crazy because they keep going. And then we'll uh, rebounds is on. Uh, they didn't say indirect. Indirect or all shots? What does that mean? Oh, only only indirect shots hit. So let's do all shots. Yeah. Play with one of the play fields, not the blank play field. So we have yeah, easy, maze. easy maze right yeah. now. Okay. Let's do it. Oh my god. We see our shots. Oh, we see ourselves when we do shoot. I'm going to turn it up a bit because I have to hear movement. Oh my god. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Should have got you. Oh yes. no! Thought I'd moved. Oh, yes. it's weird. I, I you would think I would have moved more. I don't even know where I am. No, you have to shoot. To know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent combat menu. Yes, it is. I can't tell where I am. It feels like I should be moving, but I'm... Oh, see, I didn't even know I was there. Neither did I. Completely unfair. <laughs> <laughs> you move really slowly. See, yeah. how am I even there? Because you got pushed there. Yeah, but if I'm going this way... How am I there? Because I the bullet throws you around. But that doesn't make any sense. Well, that's what happens. The bullet throws you around. My bullet moves you. No, no, that doesn't make any... <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why doesn't? What part? No, I know when you hit me, I move. Yes. But it shows you where you're hit. Shoot after getting hit. That that you know which direction you're facing. That's super weird. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. One more shot sense. in it. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna play non-invisible next time. Well, because you it's don't even so know where you start because you get bounced around. And do like planes or something so you we can try see one that. Of the other ones? I haven't yeah. played any of these games, so one versus one. Yeah. Uh, let's do direct hit. Um, oh. Far and fast, sure. Who am I? Uh, you are. I don't know. Okay, I'm green. No, I'm green. Up and down no, is I'm, to turn. Why am I not turning? Because up and down is turning. Oh, I see. 
Oh, I ran into you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, up and down is turning? Oh. Gotcha. Left and right is slow down and speed That's up. That's weird. That is super weird. It is not intuitive. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not intuitive at all. Fighting the clouds. On your tail. I know. I can't even turn. I don't even know how to turn. This is this is causing a lot of problems. <laughs> I'm turning right. left and right, up and, and down I should be going right. up, up and down. I know. I would have thought that it's, it's left really, and right would be it's better. It's really weird. But you think, I guess well, it's, it's supposed they're to be thinking like, dive no, and up. Like, look the way I'm moving. That's dive. how that's how the um, the stick on the on the plane actually sh turns the plane. Like, when you have the, sh the stick? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's up and down. Exactly. That's left and right. Exactly. You, no, no, no. You, yeah, it is. Up is forward. Up and down, forward and back. That's what this is emulating. Oh, so you're going up and down in the sky. Yeah, because if you look at the position of your plane, it is up and down when you're moving it. It's not going left and right. Mm, that's true. Because you're not seeing a... You're seeing a side view of your plane, not a front. Not a top view. That's the confusing part. It's very confusing. Yes, there... So it's, it's, it's one-dimensional in a way. <laughs> it is actually. It is. Yeah. It's completely one dimensional. Uh well no. It is because you're you're looking at it from Oh god. This is terrible. One dimensional would be along a straight line. Oh you can't. And you'd hit be each accelerating other. and decelerating along a straight line. Two dimensional is up and down. Sorry, yeah, it's right. it's it's sorry. I'm thinking of the plane you're in. You're in a you're in a plane. You're in a plane, yes, but it's it's you're in a plane. it's not <laughs> in a plane on a plane. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> but Every, it's it's everyone it's, is confused. <laughs> I know. It's it's um What am I trying to say? Let's do the tanks again. You're in a one dimensional plane, but it's it's up and down, not There's no one dimensional planes. Planes are two dimensional. No. <laughs> it's it's it doesn't make any sense the way you're playing it because you feel like you should be going left and right. It's the only way they could do Not it. Not up and down. It's the only way they could do it. They couldn't represent it anymore, any better. Yes, they could. You could be going straight up and down and turning left and right. Okay, yeah, that's true. You it? could be looking down on the ground instead oh, yes. of looking straight like yeah. that. The, 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 per, the perspective makes no sense in this game. It's because there's no ground to crash to. You just wrap around infinitely. You'll never go to the cra to the yeah. ground. You never go to the sky. Yes. That's why it's weird. Well, the, it, that's what I mean. The perspective yeah. makes no sense that they've chosen for this game. Need to reread. Need to read Flatland. Uh, as a sphere, you can try explaining what a two-dimensional world looks like. <laughs> yes. Yes, this would be a sphere. Not really. Because there's no there's no ground. Because you loop around. Yeah, but there's no ground. Like, the, it's supposed to be ground and sky. No, you're going up and down, sphere, right? You're controlling it by going up and down, yeah. but you're not going up and down. No, you're not. It doesn't make any sense. It feels like you should be going along the ground and turning left and right. Yeah. That's, that would make more sense. On this you're looking two down. Dimensional you're like sphere. God looking down on the earth. Yeah. On a two dimensional sphere, but it's, that it, control would make more but sense. But the perspective is what screws you up because the perspective is really strange. <laughs> Again, Supreme Heights of Community Television. <laughs> yes. That's what we're going for. Yeah. <laughs> the very best of community television. Okay. Let's do the tanks again because. You want to do the jet or no? The no, tank? the jet, jets are very similar, Train, I believe. Or maybe maze. the jets do turn left and right. Complex, easy maze. Complex, yeah. Uh, rebounds. Uh, yeah, the, uh, rebounds are, are rebounds good. Rebounds are fun, yeah. The far shot means it goes forever. Yeah. Lots yeah. of bounces. See, this is the thing. This is. I think I've been turning in circles, because because I I I've I've playing it. Oh, ooh, ooh, that was close. You should start shooting, because you never know where your bullets are gonna go. See if you don't know how to how your your movement works. <sighs> Terrible. You can't shoot again until it dies. No, you have to one shot at a time. Oh. <laughs> see, you've played this game way more than I ever have, oh. so this is entirely unfair. Since the, <laughs> since the 80s. Since the 80s. <laughs> I 
because everybody had this game. Yeah, I'm sure like, they did. Just everyone, because there's millions of them. There's jokes about it. <laughs> yeah, just billiards. Yeah, yeah, it's all angles. It is but all the angles. but the angles are crazy. Like if you shoot straight to a wall, it automatically makes it curve. Yeah. Which is good. But if it's not straight onto a wall, it does it does keep its proper um, or approximate. Yeah, it does. At least you can't beat yourself. Yeah, that'd be. Oh, you just missed me. Oh. Nice. Not really. Playing against someone who's never played this game before. Never, <laughs> never played combat. I think we played it once, or a version, someone's version of it. Oh, okay. I don't, oh, I don't yeah, maybe a, a hack of a it. A hack of it, yeah. yeah I think we might about have. all I've played. No, no wonder. No wonder. Every 2600 enthusiast has played many. Yeah, many an hour, especially if you've had. It's a good game, system. though. Oh, it's excellent. Oh, and the Quadtari, um, one of Nathan Tolbert's games, is yeah. four player. Oh, did we play that? No, because we don't have Quadtari. He hasn't uh, released it yet. We didn't play it. I've been talking. Four to twelve. Thanks, I was too young to remember the time. Yes, if Combat was the original packing game for the 2600. Mm. It's a simple, fun, multiplayer game. Nice. It's great. Pac-Man was later. Pac-Man, huh? Oh. They had to get rid of them. The Pac-Man, Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no They're kidding. They're like, oh, we got to get rid of these piles of Pac-Man we have. This game was the bane of younger siblings everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Okay, next game. Uh, fourth out of ten. Uh, let's see. It is... Sorry, so many different things open here. Hmm. Uh, it is... Let's face it. What's the point of having younger siblings if you can't beat them in video games. That's right. That's the fun of it. It is. You know, <laughs> it's encouraging to get them to get better. Right? That's right. <laughs> um, so Hangman uh, is the next game. It did not have a matrix because it has just nine variations. Okay. They're able to list them out uh, mm. in the manual. Uh, this was uh, from 1978, a very early game. Mm. Um, it, was, it was known as Spelling in the Sears release. Mm. Because I'm guessing they didn't quite want the violent name uh, for a game that was aimed at kids. Kids, right? It's funny the things that they get up in arms about, especially when they seem... Like, Hangman is a game that's been around forever. Yeah. Like, who really takes offense to that? But, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, the game funny. is uh, exactly the same in both variations of Hangman and Spelling. Like, they didn't change anything. Mm. Um, but instead of a guy uh, dangling from a noose... It's a monkey hanging from a branch, <laughs> which is kind of cute. Yeah. Hangman is my favorite menu, Omega Matrix says. Mm. Uh, I really enjoyed making it. It's very, like, very look, colorful. I like it. And one, two. And for people who oh. know how to, how difficult this is to actually make on a 2600, letters and making it this wide, uh, it's quite clever how he did this. Um, that H is not made with a player character. Uh, so you can actually pick the game, one through nine, or do them individually. I, I got to show this one. Oh, yeah. Um, the uh, Stella, how he did this one. Mm. Because... Ugh, this jumps all over the place. Drives me crazy. Because there's no consideration for two or three screens mm -hmm. with Stella. They... They haven't uh, done anything special for that. <laughs> so let me. Uh, so when you have three screens, it jumps all over the place. It goes crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a look at the screen capture. Oh, we don't need the white background for that. There we go. Oh, not screen capture. Stella. It's much better. Okay. Now we're in. Gonna go and look at debug mode. And you can see that the players, the N, the grade, the M, the cr create, create, no? No and yes, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh, create. Yeah, no create. and yes. No the and N yes, yeah. And the game five are all done by players. Okay. Um, and he's actually 
done something clever with the game five too. He's done, gone down and over and made a triplicate on that side. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, because you can only make triplicates of players, he's made the H because you can't, you don't have another one to make it with. He's made it with something. I've memorized the, the colors. Uh, he's made it with, it's the blue and let's get to it. He's made it with the ball mm. and the missile. Oh, interesting. So it's just really, really cool mm. kind of thing for those who like looking at those things. Like developers. <laughs> <laughs> All the developers. Okay, so let's go back to the 2600. Mm -hmm. I just thought I'd show that because that's really cool how he fit in the H. Luckily, it was an H. Yes. For Hangman and not yeah, some weird thing that weird you had enough. to draw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the variations for Hangman are one and two players. Mm-hmm. Um, what grade that you're playing, and that's the level of words. Um, and then whether you're creating or not creating. And creating would only be on two-player variations. So you can create a word for the other oh, person. Oh, I see. Yeah. So play one-player okay. variations. And he's actually spelled out game this time, rather than just a number in the corner. Mm -hmm. and, and you can pick it based on the game, too. So you can oh, go like that's, this. That's really cool. Yeah, so you can, you can pick it based on the game. I think that's the only one he's done this for. Probably because there's only nine. Yeah. Um, and if you look at the bottom. Mm. Toil? Toil. Hard. Hard. Fair, fair easy. easy so it's like harder or not as hard he's made four letter words toil that's funny <laughs> so that's very funny. yeah go for grade 12 sure oh oh i think you have to go over to the game and press mm -hmm. it there you go four letter words hangman was 1978 so not a long wait <laughs> from 1978 to 2020 not long the nine launch titles were combat e uh Combat, Air Sea Battle, Starship, Indy 500, which we'll be playing, Street Racer, Video Olympics, which we'll be playing, Surround, Blackjack, Basic Math. Oh, you're hanging the monkey. T. Maybe it's Toil. It could be Toil. <laughs> he might be taking them from the built in ones. And listen to the sounds. Yep, not Toil. It's, <laughs> it's the alphabet song as you go through the letters. Yep going backwards mm, yeah oh it's not toil mm. poor monkey um, um and an interesting point of trivia that it's mm. still legal to hang people in three states <laughs> in the u.s uh, for the government to hang people no, not you no. um uh, oh, oh uh in delaware new hampshire and washington so just over the border they can still hang people in washington really and also washington uh, dc or washington, washington. state and also by firing squad, I think, unless they uh, got rid of that. Hmm. Craziness. Um, and there were some bugs found by Quahog where the game crashes on level 9 and 12 when you put in an incorrect letter. And this is the new version that was just released five days ago. Um, and there's a handicap difficulty switch, which I don't think he built into the menu. Where the difficulty switch in A position, you have 20 seconds to pick the next letter with the joystick. So we'll definitely put that in the two-player mm. mode. I wonder if it switches back and forth in the two-player mode. You both pick a word, and then you go back and forth picking it, or do you take turns? Hmm. Or when one picks the word. And then it goes to the next one? Yeah, that might be it. It's less confusing. You can always use reset on any of the menu screens to start the game from any position on the screen. Oh, okay. So you can use the reset to get into the game. Nice. So you got it? Yeah. What does the button do? What's the next word? No. No. Okay. I will let you do one more. And then I'm going to, because I'm going to read out some more answers to questions. And... Oh my god. It's quite quite a harsh uh hmm. Okay. Oh I didn't uh finish this off. Okay. Uh this is uh continue on with uh challenges in creating the games. The frustrating challenge is that every single game 
is programmed differently and has to be dealt with differently. There's no magical formulas. In some cases, the holy grail of making it work is jumping into a certain place in the game at a certain time with the RAM set in a state as if the user was holding down the reset switch down. Uh, holding the reset switch down. Other games are more forgiving, but it's all case by case. In terms of new game variations, a lot of games use up lookup tables, and if you give them an invalid option, it would crash. Also, there's almost always code to wrap the game variation around from the last to the first as the user pushes a select switch. Games that use individual bits for game options usually have all the options available to by definition. So they didn't, and that's talking about um, hidden variations within these games. Like, could you force two options that weren't mm. there to begin with? And he's saying, no, there weren't any. Like, they use them all up. They're all in a row. There's no magical things that we're missing. What do you got? Oasis? Oasis. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, basis. And that was the first thing. And it wasn't B. And I'm like, what else goes with that? There I mean, that's go. a tricky word. Two, I know. But it, basis was the only thing that kept coming into my into my mind. I'm like, no, Oh, D-Train got it. Oh, oh people are... he jumped in. Don't. No. I no. Figure that out. <laughs> Just don't look at the chat while then you're doing I would this. like to buy a vowel. I'm like, flipping through it going... None of this makes sense, but Oasis. Oh, that's a good you. question, Miss Command. Anybody know how many words it contains? Yeah. I bet Omega Matrix knows because <laughs> he would have had to um, Look at disassemble this. That's true. To a point. And while disassembling, what it probably has is just a bunch of numbers, right? It would have, like for the A, it would be one. Mm. And O is whatever I haven't memorized numbers to letters. Um, and it would have five letter words, four letter words, yeah. three letter words. Yeah. And it would just be five, seven, 23 and for all the words. So it might be a little hard to read in code. Mm. Yeah. So let's do um, mm -hmm. two player and see how that works. So is that, that's not, you can do two player, but not create is no. Um, we can yeah. create or we can not create. So we just go back and forth? We, don't bother creating. It'll take too long. We don't have time for that. <laughs> so we each choose. We go back and forth, I Oh, assume. maybe. So can me. you do it? Must be you. No. Nope. Or... Press the button. You no, I'm sure it's fine. You have to reset. Uh, maybe. Okay, now try it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Night, Carl. Ooh. Do I get to go again? Yes, I do. Oh, so it's uh, word for word. Oh, it's a six-letter word. Hmm. Uh, D-Train says, okay, I won't make any more suggestions. Or we don't look at the screen. We'll, we won't look at the screen till we hmm. figured it out. Okay. So you guys can guess, because that's more fun. Yeah. Don't Carl. look at the screen. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Okay. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Oh, because you missed one. I missed oh. one. I was like... Hmm. I'm going to go for... R. Yes. Oh. Damn it. What could it be? All the words. I know. All the words. Oh, I know one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to turn on the thing. Ready? What? what? What are you turning on? I'm going to turn it on after you've guessed. So we only have 20 seconds, so it speeds it up. No. Yes. Why? Because we can't take forever. I haven't I haven't guessed yet. <laughs> um, that's why I'm going to turn it on after you guess. So okay, it's, it's your so turn. So it's fair. Okay, you get 20 seconds. Oh. No. Nope. Screwing it all up. You probably have to pick it at the beginning. Yeah. Oh. Not oh, street. it's not street. Wow. And it's not straight, because I picked an A. It's not... Nope. Stroot. <laughs> Whatever. I'm, like, running out of vowels. I? Okay, I'm going to go for it. Oh. Oh, I know what oh, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Da, da, da. Yeah. Okay, we'll do best out of three. <laughs> Google says it is 510 words. Wow. That's really good, actually. Oh. Oh, you're first. Oh, because oh, you won, maybe? Yeah. You that get first, make sense. first. No. Oh. The loser should... No, the winner should get first, because yeah. no. it's hard to guess the first letter. 
I am very glad it takes out letters that you've already guessed. Yeah, yeah, so you don't make the mistake of picking it again, which is unlike normal hangman. Yeah, well, no, um, you can cross off letters in normal hangman. Did anybody get that before us? Of course, they're guessing this one, or not. No, nope, nobody guessed. What? Uh, what? There is a delay. I have to fix that delay. Oh, between the I noticed the it today cameras? when I was showing the patches. Oh, weird. Oh, Ooh. my God. What the hell is this? I'm going to go for a safe one. Oh, my God. Whoa! Hmm. <laughs> what is that? What word is that? Corn. Okay. Yep. Yeah! Anybody get it? Thank nope. you for being on Strata Council. Yes. <laughs> the quorum has been reached. Your turn. <laughs> Three letters. Oh. oh wow, it mixes it up. Mm. Nope. Sometimes it's harder because you fewer. fewer letters to get right, as you can see right now. Jeez. Nope. Said. Oh. Hey. That could be a billion things. <laughs> so many things. I have left. Oh, it is counting down. Nope. Okay. Hmm. What are some common? Well. It's not that. <laughs> I think T's gone too, anyway. Oh no, what? Oh, it could be a whole bunch of things. Could it be Zap? Could be Cap. <laughs> uh, you win! RSTLNE! Yep. Yep. Uh, Dennis DeBro supposedly has a hangman disassembly. Link on bands is broken though. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Yeah, you, so you could be able to see the whole list mm -hmm. of words with the disassembly. Maybe. Depends how they disassembled it. Okay. That, that was is fun. Very fun. fun. That's a good hangman. game, actually. Yeah, it is. Simple, fun. Good to know I have grade... Was that really grade 12 uh, vocabulary, though? Yeah. What was the first one? They? Oasis? They? Oasis was good. Because was good I, I had, once I had basis in my head, I just, I'm like, I don't know what else it could be. <laughs> okay, but, choose um, the next one. Needs to have more letters. Uh, well, oh, it only oh, had so many. Indy 500. Nice. So, let's take a look at the um, matrix for Indy 500. I think I'm going to have to go get a glass of wine. Would you have to? Well, yes. now is the exact time to do it. So okay. go while I talk about the matrix. <laughs> All right. Talk about the matrix. The red, blue, the red pill or the blue pill? That is the question. Uh, there isn't a matrix for this one. So that's not very exciting. So I can't show the matrix. Um, so we'll, ta we'll take a look at the uh, screen there. At the title screen, which is very nice. It has some flags. It has some little white bits poking out of the sides of the flags. Oh, it's a little off. Is that supposed to be off? Because the white is missing on one dot on the left flag and one dot on the right flag and it's poking out. Is that the same for Stella or is it my computer? Interesting. Let's take a look. I will first always bet blame my oh my goodness it is color it is timing on my uh, it's my timing what I see a glitch in your Atari oh he <laughs> pick, picked it up before I did what? yeah what happened there's a glitch in my uh, RGB oh which you can see on the flags there yeah it's one off oh there's some timing issues with my uh, either my Atari, which it does have Wait, you mean Pesco the white? issues, the yeah, white? and also on the bottom oh, yeah. there, on the on the blue and the black. So I'll show you on. I'll show everyone out there what it looks like, what it's supposed to actually look like. Hmm. On Stella, get up to the top. I mean, it's not. You can notice it, but it's not. Uh... It doesn't it's obscure the graphics <laughs> too much, but still. So there you can see it. Yeah. On Stella, how it's supposed to look. Yeah. And then you can see it on... Actually, I can switch back. 
forth here on my computer or my uh 2600 mm. there's the 2600 there's stella 2600 stella he could do this all day 2600 click, 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 click. We'll, we'll keep running the 2600 <laughs> <laughs> so more than just pesco mm -hmm. um is it the tia or is it the rgb that's making it bad um you can find out quite easily we'll find out right now actually let's go back to this which is stella which you can go to developer mode mm. developer settings glitched pesco TIA. Mm. we'll find out right now after i kick click close nope it is the rgb that uh, makes it move over, not the TIA, not the video chip, video card, the video card in, in the, the video card. 2600. What were we talking about today? And, and were we? We were talking about video cards. We weren't talking matter. about it. We were something. We're watching 8-Bit Guy talking about video cards in his new video. Um, so, yeah. Something. So uh, maybe uh, Stella can add into this um, RGB rgb uh board mm. into the developer settings <laughs> <laughs> to compensate for yep. bad color glitchy timing. glitchy glitchy uh, RGBs. oh he says there's a lot of tia variations more than the tele stellar lists yeah. so there's faulty kool-aid man faulty cosmic ox arc, arc stars glitched quick step glitched oh. he-man title glitched he -Man oh maybe i can customize customize your glitch customize my my rgb glitch nice and save it so let's do faulty kool-aid man what is faulty kool-aid man i don't know that one i don't <gasps> know i don't know any of the other ones they must That's be a lot more uh interesting let's see no that didn't do it quick step no well, nope that it's probably been it. tested already so maybe <laughs> <laughs> no it's not that one and the last one is custom Invert H move clock phase mm. for everything. Delayed play field. Ooh, delayed play field color. That sounds similar to mine. No, nah, didn't do anything. Anyway, back to normal. Player settings, player settings. All good, all good. Okay, let's get back to the 2600 with the actual glitch. Calling Stephen A. Yes, yeah, he needs to add it in. <laughs> um i love the 8-bit guy oh my god yeah so good mm -hmm. so he's looking at a uh, custom pet board in this latest video. yes 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 very very interesting yeah um so this actually doesn't use joystick oh no it does not this okay. uses the very rarely uh. used driving controllers very nice um which i have not i don't think i've ever played indy 500 really yeah, ever ever because I just have never used these controllers. We've, we've pulled them out to play certain games on, haven't we? Uh, I've, we, we have, for I, sure. I am not talking about the paddles. No, the, the driving controller. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, we have. We okay, have. but I've never played this game. Oh, now it's working. Right? One, Good. two. Are we both playing? Yep. Brace. going to give you a little bit of fun information about the driving controllers that might get some developers thinking. The driving controllers emulate left and right on the joystick, I believe, mm -hmm. by spinning around. But they spin completely, right? They spin completely, forever. Mm. Um, on the Quad Tari that is coming out, it will be able to support four of these. Ooh. So that opens up many games. You could have a four-player Indy Indeed. 500 yeah. or yeah, four-player um, four racing game. Nice. Gray, gray code. Yeah, gotta yep. play the ice track, yeah. Grandma's Revenge. Okay, so two players, race, crash, and score, tag, ice race. Oh, did I not look at the Matrix? I don't think there's a Matrix for this one. No, okay. Um, player one slow, player two slow. Okay, let's do it. Oh, we crashed immediately. Oh my god, it just starts immediately. Is this the right way? I'm guessing it's not. Oh, fun. Did you? Nope, nope it is the well. other way. This is slow. It's a good one to start with. How 
Slippy. Oh, it is Slippies. It is Slippy. Did you get a point? Yeah. You did. I have never played this game before. <laughs> so John you, can tell, you can tell how good we are at it. Uh... John Champo said, oh, for those uh, lucky people who have four driving controllers, they'll be able to play four-player car racing games. And um, I replied to him, damn, I only have three. <laughs> Which is quite a few. Because only one, I guess, did one or two come with Indy 500? Does anybody know? So this is like drifting. It is. It's pretty fun. It is. The ice one's really fun. So you have to kind of compensate for the... Oh, I'm going too fast. Me too. I think you do have to back up on the uh, on the pedal. On the acceleration? Yeah. It's still past you, though. Oh, yeah. You're close behind, now. Oh, get out of my jet! Crashy crash! Oh. What is it to? Ten? Stuck on the, I don't know. <laughs> I bet it's ten. Probably. Nope. Fifteen. It's usually ten or fifteen. Are you ahead of me now? <gasps> no! I was thinking too much. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way. Jackass. It's the only way. Oh. Oh no! It's stuck. No! Sharp corners. Oh my god, stop crashing. Yeah, you can't accelerate. Always like that Commodore 64 game where if you hit the sides too much, your tires would change color. Yeah, pit stop. Pit stop! No, 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 no! Nope, it's not 15. What does it go to? 20? It's a lot of laps. Or is it just indefinite? <laughs> just forever. Play till someone gives up. Or it's a time? Oh. It didn't have options for time, did it? And see. Ah, no! Nice. That was sloppy! Sloppy! Oh, no. Ugh. Inside, I gotta back off on the pedal. Ah, no! Oh, 20. Oh my god. It just keeps going. 25? 100? <laughs> it's only two digits. Ah, ah. I love how we started going in the wrong direction. <laughs> I think I would have been ahead of you if that hadn't happened. Would you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> lap. <gasps> oh, 25. 25. Oh, Captain Plus said 25. That's all I right. I always thought the different angled cars look weird. Yes, yeah. Oh, they're little, little... They look like little... I mean, what uh, can you do? Little water bugs floating on the surface of the pond. So, what other variations? We'll quickly look at it. So, what are they? Race? Crash and score. What is Tag. That? Tag. Ice race. So, crash... Every time you crash, you get a point, maybe? Oh, or you maybe. force the other person to crash? Tag makes sense. You have to hit the other person, I guess. That's cool. And then, yeah. Um, let's yeah. do crash and score. Let's see what it is. Okay, who am I? Okay, I'm green. Ah. Collect-a-thon. Crashing into the walls doesn't seem, it seems to be very soft. It just kind of stop. It doesn't go. Oh, there's through ways. Are you in troubles? Hmm? I'm in troubles. I thought I was controlling you. <laughs> I thought it you're was like, green. I'm doing so good. No, I honestly, <laughs> I thought it was green. No, you're not green. I wonder. That's why. Because I was green last time. That totally screwed well, you me You could drive through walls That's slowly. That's completely unfair. <laughs> That's a nice option. Oh. Yeah. Very not in control of this at all. These turn pretty fast, these controllers. Like, I don't have a problem with them. Like, for racing? Because there's only four little... Uh... 
Like, they're very fast. I swear somebody, I was reading somewhere, somebody was like, oh, the driving controllers don't turn fast You can go enough. through walls, that's totally wrong. You can go through walls. No, but I'm just saying that's totally <laughs> wrong, that shouldn't be happening. Sometimes the shortest path is through a wall. Ah, stuck. This is a fun variation. <laughs> Wish I knew why I, what, what car I was when we started. I was like, are you having trouble? You just yeah, when you said that, I was like, I'm green. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm like, oh, why am I not green? I was green last time. They did that on purpose. Okay, I want to start this over again. It feels completely unfair now. It's too high scoring. 32? Yeah. I mean, it does go fast, but I mean, that's very high. 16 directions. Is it? Oh. I guess for some things, it doesn't have enough... Uh, granularity. For driving, it's no problem. For 360 driving, you do have to spin it, like, a bit. Like, you have to whip it around. Oh, it's nothing like just being right past it. Goodness, it's like three in the same spot. 50! 50. 50. Wow! Okay, that's Speed quite, bumps, that's quite not high. walls. Yeah, they're not really walls. Gotta find out whether we can use the, these controllers for Tempest. I... Mm. Well, you have to use these controllers for Tempest. Unless you limit it to um, single plane, like, back and forth. Because Tempest has 360. You have to use these controllers for a 360 Tempest mm. um, game. Um, so quickly go to tag. We already did ice race, which is the same as race, except it's icy. Okay, so you are green. Blue. You're green this time. So what? Oh, Am I see. I? You're green. Oh. So. Confused. Wait, I'm confused. Nine, ten. I'm green. I'm going up and score. Yeah. So oh, because you're... you're running away. I have oh. to get you. I guess so. Okay. So that 18. Oh! oh! The longer you stay away, the more points you get. See, I bet no, nobody played these games. Because they didn't know about them. Damn it. Because this, this is a lot of fun, these variations. Ah! Come get me. And then it counts up. I guess it's, I bet it's to 50, I guess. Probably. Oh, see, I, you can't <laughs> slow down. You just have just to Just let keep. the button, the finger off the button, and then you slow down. Slowly. Ah! Don't ever hit the wall. <laughs> no. It does not help you at all. Ah! It's pretty fun. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It is, especially with the pass-throughs. It's really good. Oh, you're gonna have 50. I Four assume seven, that's. Eight, I assume that's when it's. Nine. Why am I not moving? I keep thinking I'm the wrong person. <laughs> this is the problem. Beneficial for me. Yeah, I'm like, why is this not working? I'm like, I, I, why am I going in circles? Oh crap! Uh, it's not me. Maybe it's 200. Oh, just missed you. <laughs> it's really fun driving around. Ah. 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 Somebody's barbecuing. Yeah. I can smell it. Ah. Oh. Don't get stuck in a wall. Yeah. It does not help you. Ugh, I'm stuck at a wall. Ah! It's fun. <laughs> oh, you're such a jackass. <laughs> Come get me, stuck in a wall. Ah, ah! 89, 90. 
It's gotta be a hundred. Anyone? It's gotta be a hundred. Yeah. Ninety-five, ninety-six, seven, nine, ninety-nine. Oh, ninety-nine. So it is a hundred. <laughs> Ray Tree <Teresa. laughs> Fun reliving the classics for the first time. Ooh. It is. That is the mm. exact reason Omega Matrix made these. Mm. Because it makes these these options that nobody knew existed. Yeah. Well, some people didn't know they existed. Most people, I think. Yeah. And it made them very accessible. Yeah. Like, I didn't know... That these this, options were even this, there? This game was even this fun, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thought, oh, you drive around a loop. Yeah. And, okay. And yeah. then you went... Like the first variation that you play. Yeah. It's pretty boring the ice is fun the drifting the ice is cool they, these are fun the collecting and yes. the chasing yeah really really good yeah very cool oh yeah captain classic indy 500 is the best driving control game of the original release it's really yes. good oh i think i missed element for subscribing it says I most frequent sub it. did i yeah, okay I well so. anyway thank you <laughs> on to the next game which is something uh, Space Invaders. So we're going to switch back. So we're just doing them in alphabetical order. Oh, this is the only game that had driving controllers anyway. There we go. So, there you go. Load up Space Invaders, please. Mm -hmm. Nice. So Black and white. I like it. Very uh, an homage to the uh, arcade Space Invaders. Black and white. I think the original one was black and white, right? Yeah, I believe so, yes. Yeah. So what do we have? Um, let's take a look at, actually, the Space Invaders Matrix is very, very interesting because it's massive. Yes, this one is the massive one. Oh my goodness. So this one has 112 variations. It's a lot of variations. I mean, one and two players yes. help a lot to double that. So, oh, you can see my mouse. That's very nice. Uh, basic game, mm. uh, alternating turns. That's with two players. Competing at the same time. Competing at the same time, alternating shots. So most of the variations, the first... 16 are only one player actually mm -hmm. and the rest are two-player games wow there's so many two-player games um so the two-player games are opposing players and partnership players mm. um and the opposing is alternating turns competing at the same time competing at the same time alternating shots uh two-player partnership one player moves right mm. and the other moves left with one ship Oh my god, that sounds nightmarish. Like, only you can move right, and only I can move to the r left? That sounds, um... Torturous. That sounds like that would ruin, Fight a, ruin a marriage. Yes. <laughs> right! Sound. Move right! Yeah. Why don't you move left? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. Arcade was black and white, sometimes with a colored sheet overlay. Yes. Ah, yes. Yeah. Um, alternating firing and control, like on... Um, Firing. So one person fires the like other Gallag person. Like goes. on Galagon, yeah. when you switch back and so, forth. So what marriage-destroying <laughs> options would you like to pick for this round? We're going to try both of those. <laughs> um, and then one player moves, the other player fires <laughs> the whole time. Okay. And then under those variations, there are moving shields. They go, mm, yeah. Zigzagging bombs from the enemy. Yeah. Fast bombs and invisible invaders. I do not like invisible games. I just don't like them. I hate them. I'm not a big They're fan very either, but... <laughs> They're very annoying. So I'd rather not do the Invisible Invaders ones, but okay. So let's go back to the actual game mm. and we can take a look. So let's go to two players because I'm ready to play. As soon as I plug in the actual controller that I can use. So pick two players, please. And which torturous one should we play? Play it. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have one player oh fires, one player moves. Okay, alternate I... turns. Play at the same time. Ooh. Same we'll time to... and alternating shots. Let's play at the same. 
Uh, Split moves by player. Alternate, alternate fire and moves. One fires other moves. Alternate turns. Okay. I want same time and alternating shots. So you shoot, I shoot? Yes. I don't get that. So okay. you get a shot, then I get a shot. Well, we'll okay. see how that goes. Shield moves. Nah, I keep it. This, I, yeah. I, I always feel like the standard Space Invaders doesn't yeah. have the shield moving. Zigzag bomb. Uh, no, let's let's play straight first. No, 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 no zigzag zag bombs. Turn that off. No fast bomb. No, everything's off. Oh, what does On? it look like? It's off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fast bombs off. Invisible off. Yeah. Just okay. play it normally first. Well, this is. Oh, we're fat chips. Why are we fat chips? Oh. So he didn't build in the uh, A B. Oh, I shoot. You shoot. Oh. Your turn. Gotcha. This is okay. I know for, uh, like, we already played a game where yeah. he did build in yeah. and then ignored the, um, shoot. Start, just hold down the button. <laughs> we'll never complete the level. So shoot the side ones. I can't hold down the, the button holding? Is it working? Yeah. Oh, I see. I'm just shooting Shoot the side ones. Shoot the end ones. So they don't come down as quick. Well, I can only go so far, so. Why is this... Holding down seems. I guess it's because it's it's, it's waiting on you. Yeah. <laughs> Even this one is. Uh, it's better to time it. I don't like the holding down. Well, uh, you can do what you want, but it's taken longer for me to get my shots back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm aiming there the whole go. time. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I can go on your side. I can of course help you, can. you out. Oh. Oh, do we share? I don't know. Lives? I guess so. Hmm. Sh shoot! Oh, now you're wrecking. Okay, one ah! left. I'm trying! Shoot! Oh, you got it! Oh my god. I've been shooting too! James and Tanya got divorced later in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> what? Coronavirus won't kill space invaders well. That's right. <laughs> Okay. We got this. That's annoying. Okay, go to <laughs> split moves by player. Is that the left and right? Alternate fire and moves. Split moves. Left and right? Let's oh, try no. that one. That's... No, don't press the button. No? No, you have to go to the bottom. So go back to the... There. Split now moves. go to the bottom. Okay. So there's one player on the screen. Wait. I, can you go left? I can only go right. And I, I have to pull it left. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that is hilarious. Okay. I don't understand this. I don't know how this even would work. When I stop you from going left? I don't know. Press left right now. I'm oh, I do. Oh. Oh, my God. It was like when Galagon was bug, had a bug in it. Remember that? Oh. Where I could put one person. Oh, you could push me to one side. Yeah. Or, no, the one person. Oh, one pre person could control the other, the other person. Or control the other person. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. That okay, was pretty this funny. is this is not fun. It's like unplayable almost. This is unplayable. Yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Invisible isn't as hard. Yeah. Well. Because you shoot. You over shoot and, over and they over. flash, yeah. right? Which is okay, but I don't. Okay. I don't. Yeah. Alternate fire. Yes, let's do that one. Okay. That one sounds. Oh no, no! Go back up. You missed. Sorry, no. I accidentally, I accidentally hit the button. Nope. There. Nope. Nope. There. No. Yeah. Alternate. One oh, fires. Yeah. Other moves. Go. I'm like, that's not right. So okay. who's doing what first? I don't know. I'm firing. Okay, I'm moving. I'm just holding down the button. Yes. Is this the way it stays the whole time? I guess so. Oh, can you fry Stella emulator to get to two-shot variation? I don't... Oh, I got him. Oh, good job. That was entirely accidental. <laughs> when when they get down to the, to the last couple guys, then I'll time the shots. But right there's, now... There's almost no point. There's no it, point right it, now. Yeah, there's, there's not much to it, really. Because I just need to be where I need to be, so... Yeah, I just need to follow along. And dodge getting shot. Yeah. Darcy's soul is present today. Darcy's soul? <laughs> okay, now I'll... Now I'll time it. Uh, 
Thank you. Woo! Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, what are some of the other ones? Do you want to see the one player? It's no, no, standard no, 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 no. Oh, there's one. nothing. So it's all in the two player. Alternate turns. That goes back and forth. That play at the same time. That, that, I mean, split moves. Is that the one we played before? Split move. Yes, that's terrible. Um, Alternate fire moves. Yes, let's do that. Don't press the button. Go down to the bottom. Okay. I don't get this. Alternate. I'm going left and right. You you play and then I play. Oh, and then you play. Oh yeah. my goodness. Oh, one shot per, and then the other person goes. Oh my god. That's very weird. Well, the easy way around <laughs> it is just you control it and I just shoot. If I just continually shoot, oh. then then you basically... I'd... Uh, no, because then you get frozen. I get frozen Me. for a second. Yeah, yeah. but if I'm, if I'm hitting it continuously, it, it'll unfreeze pretty quick. Uh, a little bit quick. Not super quick. I'm just holding it down. But no, that that's... makes more sense than me actually trying to control it. <laughs> Basically, I'm just giving it up to you to play, so. True. And I just have to make sure I'm in a spot where I can move out of the way. Mm -hmm. And that's not in the spirit of the game. But... No. Well, this is weird, so. Did okay, you... we did it anyway! Yay! Oh, Darcy. Darcy, oh, oh that's, that's why. The... How did I end up there? I just didn't change it. Oh, <laughs> Was that before? Oh, it's been this whole time. Oh, has it? Yeah. <laughs> Same uh, with Stella. Okay, I think hilarious. we went through a bunch of this, so... I changed most of it. I mean, Darcy's a good name. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's <laughs> oh, a, it's fine. It's a fine <laughs> name. It's a fine name. He's a fine man. He has a fine name. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fine man. Okay. Uh... Next game is Super Breakout, which we use paddles for. Did I unplug the right one? We'll find out. Let's see if you can navigate the uh, the menu on the Harmony Cart with the paddle. Mm. It's not super fun. No. <laughs> it goes very fast. Always problematic. Ooh. It goes very fast. Very, very fast. So let's take a look at the matrix while Tanya does that. Which one's our super breakout? Yeah. And then it breaks because that's. It always in breaks it. there. Oh. <laughs> His parents were Jane Austen fans. It's certainly possible. Yeah. It's a bug in the Harmony Encore cart. It needs to be fixed. But I. That's why I always use the joystick first. Go. I, oh, yeah, we have to. And then I'll switch back. Oh my god. So exasperated. Oh, I have to unplug it and plug uh, it back in. It's torturous. So hard. Okay, so let's take a look at the matrix for this one. Super breakout. Pretty small. One player, two player. Breakout double. Cavity progressive. I have no idea what any of those mean. Cavity progressive. <laughs> Children's versions. I have obviously not played any of these. No. Uh, one player, two player. Uh, so it has most of the variations for two player. Hmm. There's something missing. It's flipped in the eight and nine, but progressive. There is no progressive two player. Whatever that means. It's just progressive. Hmm. One player. Hmm. Well, we will find it out. Seven. We want to try. All these menus look so good. Can't tell if it's a true lab 
can tell if it's a true you labor can't. of love. You can't uh, tell. No. <laughs> it's a true yes. pa- labor of love. Clear, uh, clearly. It yeah, really adds can. it really adds to the gameplay though when you're not like looking at mat- matrices matrices <laughs> uh, and picking you know the numbers you want. So look at that. Want. It really matches the gameplay with the super breakout in the blocks at the top. Yes. It's gorgeous. Yep. So we will f- you play a single player um, progressive because that's the only one. You can't play two player. Might as well play so that just one. Click it that way. You can see the seven changes yep. in the bottom. And I'm going to read out some more uh, answers from uh, Omega Matrices, Matrices, Omega (laughs) Matrices, Omega Matrices uh, interview. Yep. Uh, My interview with him. Mm. And you're dead. (laughs) You are not prepared. Mm. Oh. Whoa. Lubricate that up. (laughs) It's got, it's a little jumpy. There's the middle. Okay, question. Did you uh, change anything about the games while you're making the menus, such as bug fixes for known issues, or did you leave the games as exactly as they were? Um, yes, like stabilizing the scan, scan line counts. Thank you very much, Omega Matrix. And cleaning up minor graphical blemishes, like line tearing mid screen. Oh, nice. I did bug fixes when I found them. Uh, but in general, I want people to experience the original game without having to use select switch dozens of times. Yep. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, what possible games are you looking to add a menu to in the future? Oh. Atari Age user Kohog recently suggested Maze Craze due to its large number of variations. Uh, he says, I have a list. But in my experience, talking about the games on the list can build an expectation. And I don't want to let people down if I don't pick that game. Also, I like the surprise of you never knowing what I'll do next. <laughs> that is good. Like, if you just come out and go, hey, guys, new game. And and everybody's like, oh, my God, what the hell? And, ah, progressive. It moves down. So it'll kill you in the end. Ah, Smoosh. so you have to be quick with it. Ugh. Progressive live, the bricks, progressive, progressive live. The bricks start coming down. That's yeah. cool. That is very cool. Yeah. I've never played this variation of it. It's very cool. And that is the whole point of these these games. So I'm guessing... Get in there. There yeah. you go. Uh-oh. Speedy. Ah! <laughs> oh, points. points. Points were lagging. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. So let's go and do some two players. So we've got... What? Double? I don't know what double is. Let's do cavity. Yeah, let's see what that is. Oh, oh more balls in the cavities. Ah! Oh, that's what... Oh, it's double, but is, is it two players? Mm. Where's the other, where's the other paddle? Oh, it's your turn oh, You've now. got it. Yeah, sorry. Your turn. Okay. Okay, so it's taking turns. Yeah. Well, the cavity is... Do you get those balls when they come out? Yeah, I bet you do. I bet it goes insane. Ooh. I didn't know there was extra balls. No, this is new. The super breakout. This is new! The point slagging is design decision. Ah. I like it personally, Kathy. It, I do too. It, it's neat. Because yeah. it feels You're like, more, ooh, look how much I got. Feels like almost like a I don't know, pinball it's game. Delayed or, gratification. Yeah. It's like do, 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 do. Yeah. Like the score can only go up so fast. Yeah. And it's like, oh I guess it knows what score it needs to go up to. Mm. It's got oh it's got like two score counters. One is current and one is target. Yes, Ramirez and says his wife's favorite 2600 game. I, oh, I really? It's hard not to like Super Breakout or Breakout. Yep, super Breakout. Um, really, it's just so simple. And when you get into the groove of it, it's yep. it's one of those kind zen. of meditative Zen games. And those yes. are the best. You just enjoy your time doing it. <laughs> That's why all those oh, jewel out. dropping games <laughs> yes. do so well. Ooh. Oh, I got two. Can I get three? I don't Oof. know. Nope. Okay. <laughs> two At least for a while. if you lose, if you lose the orange green one, whatever it is, you still stay in the game. That's good. Yeah. I wonder if you lose the blue one. Is Probably, that your primary? I think it's your primary. I, if you I, lose would, that, it's I over? would assume it's over. But That's just a bonus ball. Maybe. It is like pinball. Well, oh, oh, I hit the blue. It's time for craziness. Oh. Your turn now. Oh, and I'm playing my own game. God. You're done? Yes. Go. What the hell? It's going to be fast up immediately. Yeah. Oh. oh, my God. 
we're all twisted up here. Are we? Yep. Oh, did it start over? No, it's me. I barely got any in. I died immediately oh, both, yours both is rounds. A different, it's a different game. Oh, We're not, not playing the same game. No, it's not Clark. Okay. Oh, it's unleash just... the... Ah! Oh, it didn't oh, end. That's good. It didn't end. Well, now we know. Ah! I'm not used to the two. <sighs> it's just too much. It's, it's, uh... You can come out now. Come on. Come on out. Oh, the blue is crazy. It's a pretty fun game. Oh, yeah. Paddles are such an awesome input device. Mm -hmm. I love them. Oh, it finally came out. Oh. It distracted me. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. oh, that should have got you lots of banging around in there. That's what I would have thought, but it doesn't always do what you expect it to. Nope. That, oh, uh. that is the fun of uh, Brickout. Yep. Well, wow. immediately fast. Get, get up, up there. there. Yes. Yeah. Oops. Oh, just. Oh, now I'm small. Oh, because I hit the top. Oh, the red, terrible. maybe? No, I hit the top. The red, it didn't uh, do that. I like. Nice. Punishing you for doing well, which is better than punishing you for doing badly, which is what we were discussing last show. Oh, yeah. Um, With Darcy. Mm. I think there was one game that we played where... The more, the worse you did, the, the harder, harder the game gets. got. Yeah. This one, the better you do, the harder it gets, which is the better way around of doing way, it. Yeah. 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 Oh, I hit the blue. It's crazy time now. Crazy it's time. It's like cats at midnight. Cats at midnight. <laughs> it's crazy time. How many <laughs> balls do you get? Oh my God. Quite a few. Oh. Well, that's it for me. That's for sure. Oh, it's done. It's done. Cool. So let's see. That's uh, cool. Okay. Pick another one. Um, double. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm guessing is the only one that's left. Children's is just easier. Mm. Oh my god. I'm not playing him. No. I don't think so. So it's just double. You just start with two balls, okay. which you lose immediately. Well, in and, my case. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there are games that can't have a menu, but somebody are, some already have menus. Some don't have ver any variations or very few. Yeah, some games only have like one two-player. That's it. Or And hard and easy with the... Um, so why does it have two switch? paddles? Just because. Because the single game doesn't have two paddles. It has one, doesn't mm, it? Didn't. I don't, I don't know. know. Can you change that? Maybe on the, the difficulty switches? Oh, maybe. Time to read ah, the manuals. Yep. That's me up. So that makes it small. The the A and B. Oh, I see. But I'm not sure on the left doesn't it seem to do anything yeah. right okay. now. Okay, that's you now. So. Oh, okay. We won't play long because this, yeah. yeah. this is this is pretty spend much the next. Yeah. Pretty much what we already played, except yeah. there's no cavities. <laughs> you automatically get the second ball. Mm -hmm. Cavities is neat though. I like that. Yeah. And the progressive is really cool. Yes, that's a as it, fun as game. As it as it the ceiling comes down on you, kind of thing. Yeah. I like that variation. Yeah, keeps like you can play forever. Oh yeah. I'll just play this this ball. We'll be done. We'll move on. Cause this is turning out to be a long show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when we normally have three games, all of a sudden there's 11. Okay. <laughs> I don't, okay. Next one. Oh, okay. Don't go yet. Oh, yeah. We have to put in the joystick. Let me see what game's next first. Okay. I'm going to put in the joystick anyway. Because that's much better for picking. I don't think you can switch it out when you start with oh, the no. paddles because it still thinks you have the paddles. So you have to reset it anyway. But you can try. No. 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 Because it has a sensor to know if it's paddles or mm. not. Uh, the next game is uh, Video Olympics, which is Pong. So let's take a look after you load it up at... It's Pong? It's Pong! <laughs> kind of. But more. 
Video Olympics, which has quite a few variations Video as Olympics well. was the first game I ever did, Omega Matrix says. The Matrix ah. was awful. Look at it. Yes, it is awful. 50 variations. <laughs> So you got Pong, Super Pong, Soccer, Foos Pong, Hockey, Quadra Pong, Handball, Volleyball, Basketball. They're all the same game. Mm. They're paddles and a ball and, you know, an arena or blocking things. What is Whammy? Where? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a, a guitar thing. It's a Whammy bar. You go Wah. Yeah. Um Number of players is a variation. Four? Oh, you can have four players in this. Well, we won't have four players because there's only two people. Mm. Unless we get both cats down here. And put little treats on the on, yeah. on the paddles. <laughs> <laughs> um, whammy, that's a good one. Catch, we know that. Just like from Warlords, mm. uh, which we're playing next. Uh, and jump. Only in volleyball and basketball. Oh, because it's mm. probably a side view. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Um, so this game is from 1977. It's one of the early release wow, games. Wow, cool, cool. I love that early, early. Probably a launch title. Yeah, it's gonna really be early game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this originally was a 2K game, and he bumped it up to 8K because that's what he had to do. Because it's 4K for the menu, mm. and you have to have another bank of four, mm. um, which the game sat in, which was two. Um, yeah, so... Let's get to it and find out what Whammy is. <laughs> <laughs> whammy. One, two. There we go. We'll see. Omega Matrix might have translated it into real words. Something. Yeah. No, yeah. it's still Whammy. Nope, still Whammy. <laughs> okay. So oh. Plug in the paddles. Oh, I see. It's a paddle game. Plug them back. It's a pong. Press paddle. your luck, Whammy. That's exactly what I was thinking. No Whammies. No Whammy. What was I doing the other day? I don't want Whammies. I was doing something the other day and I was chanting myself, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> you're probably playing some, you're playing uh, Mr. Digger? No, Mr. Driller. Mr. Driller, no. Okay. Shoot. So we're going to play two players. What shall we play? I don't know any of these games, so you can pick. <laughs> Let's. Have you played these games before? No, so we're all going into this blind. Yep. Foos pong, which I assume is foosball. That's going to be a bunch of guys, both <sighs> sides. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want that one. Um, so there's only catch and not catch. Oh, we can't turn it on. Well, we need to know the whammy. Oh, it's speed or catch. Um, so let's find something with a whammy. The, there. The hockey, hockey was. Okay. Has a whammy. Yeah. Let's try and figure out what whammy is. Okay. Big box. No whammies, no whammies. Uh-huh thing about video olympics i thought it was basically pong i was wrong okay so we have to reset it because it starts in a non-playing mode oh it goes beyond the goes beyond the goal so you're, you're blocking your goal basically yeah so the puck goes by itself okay. yay i don't know what whammy is yet maybe it's that where you can smack it from the side? Oh, maybe from behind. You just hit it into your own goal. Um, maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe. Anyone? Anyone? Yeah. Whammies. What are whammies? <laughs> I mean, we can look it up, <laughs> but uh, we're playing. I think it's like making it go faster. Hey, oh my god. Whoop. That should have been a point. Didn't hit the back. <laughs> the side somehow it bounced out. Oh, ah, there we go. Whammy, the ball excels. Oh, so it speeds up. Mm. Uh, okay. Well, that seems. I think that you have seems. To hit it in a certain way. Yeah, like when you when you hit it with some speed, maybe. Oh, oh. it's sped up. Oh, it's the button. You just. But who controls it? The person Me. who just hit it. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Are we on speed or whammy? I We're on whammy. whammy. Maybe speed is different. Oh, my goodness. I just controlled that. Did you or did I? I did. Oh, I hit the button too. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Clearly not very good at Pong. I think um, we both can hit it. Oh, I'm like, I'm Press like, the button. No. No. Press the button Because you hit now. it last. No. 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 Weird. Hmm. That speeds it up. Oh! 
Did you speed it up? I did. That's no, weird. I'm not going to press a button anymore. So. No, 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 it's okay. I just... Oh, I'm going to see if you can control that it, That seems to be faster. It just didn't always seem to... Oh, it goes faster and faster. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. Interesting. Yeah, button right before hit speeds it up. Oh, it gets really fast. Wow. Oof. So you may not want to do that. That's neat, though. It adds a dimension to the game. It does. Hmm. Kind of like this version, the hockey ver <laughs> version of Pong, where you're where you're defending your net in yeah. a way. It's all defense. Well, but I mean, you can go out of your way to hit the ball, right? You can get out of your net to hit the ball. Yeah, yeah you can to the um, side. Yeah. So okay. it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you just want to see the other ones. So uh, we can't play quadruple. Looks like oh, because we have to do four players. Mm. Cool. So, man, man, no, no, handball. I want to know what foosball is. Okay, it's gonna be. And then we'll try basketball and volleyball. Let's do catch with it. So I oh, am uh, blue. And I'm green. Yep. Okay. And I'm guessing I am hitting it to the left. Oh, oh my god! Did you grab it? I did, but it was on my on its way that way, mm. so it continues on that way. So you, when you do that, you want to hit hit it against a wall. That's for sure. I like this foos pong. Oh that's hilarious. Goodness. There's a lot of players, and they oh go my off goodness. the screen. It, it's it's um. Oh, you can only hold it for so long. Well, that makes sense. Ugh. That's interesting. It's weird looking. It is weird, but it's fun. Ah! Ah! What's going on? What happened? I mean, what happened? The end of my. This isn't the driving controller. No, it's not the driving controller. You can hit the end. What? I am not moving. Hold on. Give me a second. You're moving a lot. No, it's about? doing weird things. It's you. It's not me. Okay, where's my middle? Where's my middle? Okay. <laughs> yes, find your middle. Find your piece. Find your. <laughs> find your center. <laughs> find your ground. Find your center. Whatever the hell. Ah! Say in yoga. <laughs> Ah, oh, hold it for only a tiny little bit. Ah! Yes! Oh. Oh. No, it's going to go... Oh, okay, it was on its way. Whatever way it was headed. No, oh, it's not true. It's sometimes changing directions and sometimes not when you hold it. See, that would have gone into your goal if That's you... That's weird. I find that weird. not sure how it dictates. I don't quite dictates. get it, and I keep... Hitting the end of my controller. Stop it! <laughs> you have to just remember to come back to center. I know. It doesn't but, spin around. But there's something weird. It, there's a huge delay. I'm not having any trouble. I'm having... It was fine in the beginning, but now I'm having a delay. And I think it's just because I'm not used to the driving controller. Although it should go one goalie, two defense, five mid, three forward. Yeah. They That's could've... fine. It's probably Is a there another complex. foosball game made? Probably not. Nobody wanted to bother. the end of my controller all the time. I don't like it. I want the driving controller. <laughs> but that wouldn't even make sense in, in the Doesn't in foosball. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to make it's just sense. Just a continuous stream of people yeah, going up. They go up and they go off the screen. That doesn't make sense in a foosball either. So That's true. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. I don't know. Oh. I think they could have done a better job on this. Oh, I like it. It's just the the it's Ugh. just the I held it and then I let it go and it continues on. They make a foose pong. What are you resetting for? So we're done. Oh, we don't have time. Cuz he uh, cuz I was winning. That's why we're done. Volleyball yeah. jumping. Okay. Hold on. Oh, you didn't fix this one Omega Matrix. Look. Look. Oh, it's a... Look at that. What janky? is that? Oh, that's jumping. Hmm. Or maybe it's mine. My system. Okay. Oh! Whoa, what the... Whoa, that was fast. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. Oh. This is challenging. Oh. No! <laughs> I don't understand! No! I don't understand! <laughs> there we go. Just have to bounce it off. Oh my god. You have to hit that when you're up. When it's way up. Oh my god. How come you control when it gets sent over to my side? I don't know. There we go. I have to be ready that at all sense. time? Oh my god. <gasps> That's how you do it. Oh. You have to get it way up. Hit the net. Mm. Oh my goodness. Ugh. B balls bad. Oh my yes. goodness. <laughs> this is terrible. Can't even, over the I net. can't even angle it over the net. <laughs> I can't. Oh, the, the tone increases as they get closer and closer to 20. Ah. Well, you can move quite, in, quite a ways into the net. Oh. 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 I'm going to stay up. How? Isn't it to 15? Like, why is <laughs> Normal this? volleyball is. Some street rules volleyball. 21. 21. Cool. Okay, let's try basketball. Uh, there's whammy, catch, jump. Probably oh. jump for basketball makes sense. No. Okay, so we have to get it in the net. Ready? Yeah. In the top of this the net. This is bizarre. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's just bouncing all over the place. This is so bizarre. No. Get in. Yes. Uh. This is a bizarre basketball. No. You hit the side of the net. That should You just count. have to hit it anywhere. Uh, not underneath, I don't think. No, don't go that way. No, not underneath. Oh my <laughs> In behind the basket? Uh, it's craziness. <laughs> Dribbling it. No! Get it in! No. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, it gets no! so... <laughs> gets so bouncy. This is hilarious. Oh. People are very... No. Nice. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to break out this game when we have the Quadtari Olympics, whatever we're gonna call it. Yes. Qua the Quadtari Olympics. Yes. That's a good name. So I'm trying to. Whoa! <laughs> I'm trying to find all the four-player games and yeah. multiplayer games, and this is definitely gonna. This be... has some multiplayer. Yeah, four-player. Yeah. Sorry. Obviously, Warlords um, and um, Medieval Mayhem, actually. Oh. I play Warlords when you have Medieval Mayhem. Ready? Boom! <laughs> Get a basket. Get it. <gasps> no! Get it out of there. <laughs> I don't know how to get it out of that corner. <laughs> can do some funny. You have to get it just on the edge of your... There you go. <gasps> <laughs> it came back again. I can't get it out of the corner. Can you go in the corner? No, I can only go halfway <laughs> in the screen. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a little better. No, no, no. Yes. No! <laughs> 25 points, D-Train says. The beach is 21. Well, yeah, I think we can, we're, oh. we, we're going to need to stop this yeah. because we're going to be playing this for a this long time. This one's pretty crazy It takes a little fun. long time to... We have enough games to play, I think. So. Yeah. We're not going to be able to... There we go. Yeah. You win. I win. Yay! Anything we didn't get to? Um. Soccer. Super Pong Pong. We'll go really quick. So pretty much... What is this? Oh, you're off the screen. Soccer, so you've got a defense. You've got a goalie and uh, offense. Ugh. And a bouncy soccer ball. 
<laughs> it's more like Pong than soccer. <laughs> Not a lot of soccering going on here. Yes. Oh. Uh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Got the idea of that. That was pretty cool. I can see that being really cool for four people. Yeah. Uh, we did foos pong. We did hockey. Didn't do soccer pong. Let's do whammy with it. Okay. It's just this. What are we doing? It's just open. There is no net. It's just open. Like that. Mm. Okay. So a variation. Hmm. Um, and what? can four play four people can do all of them wow wow what does quadrupong look like soccer is merely pong in real life <laughs> so quadrupong yeah is all around like there's a goal oh. for each person so the guy, person people on the side that'll be a fun pl oh, four player yeah, game yeah yeah this game is better as a four player yeah yeah variations on a theme yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. how many variations on pong can we come up with so Neat. Next one is Warlords, which most people are very familiar with. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Boop. It's, it's broken. Boop. It is boo. So let's take a look at the Warlords Matrix, which is a strange phrase to say. <laughs> And there we are. Game number one. Game number. Number of players. Shields. Self-explanatory. Shields? Shields? C and R. <laughs> self-explanatory? Wait a self -explanatory. second. Not <laughs> self-explanatory. The uh, ball speed, fast and slow, is self-explanatory. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the shields. Uh, C and R. Hmm. That I don't know. C for catch. Uh, catch and release? Oh, your shield, because you control the shield. Mm. Catch and release. Catch and oh. rebound. Rebound. There oh. we go. Number of players, three, two, one, and D. Demonstration? <laughs> what is D? That's an interesting one. Always interesting. Double. Double. Oh, you play two at the same time? Maybe. Hmm. Okay. We got it. And then the children's versions, 21, 22, 23. And all these matrices are, I clipped them out of the manuals mm. from the 2600 mm. manuals. Do well, yeah. Okay, it's so. Interesting. Do you have it? Oh, wait. I have it plugged in, but you might have to reboot it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There so once go. you're on paddles, you stay on paddles. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Didn't show off. Catch and ricochet. Catch and ricochet, Fast not rebound. And slow. Yeah. So this, look at this. Look at this menu. Double. Look at, the, look at the guys at the top. I know that's so. Depending great. on how many people. And they have different expressions and different helmets and different <gasps> colors on their helmets. It is totally. Um, uh, what was I going to say? A reference to. Um, your mother smell, smells like elderberries. Yeah. <laughs> yes, your it is. Your father was a hamster and your mother smells like el No, other way. Your mother was a hamster and your father smells of elderberries. That is exactly where nice. he got it from. Nice. Holy uh, grail. Holy grail. Thank you. So good. Yeah, attention to detail. Look at those bricks. They're unbelievable. Well, I guess I need the correct controllers then. You do indeed. And while you're switching that, we're going to take a look at... Um, Stella, and take a look how we did this. And Warlords, MTSC. Hmm. Up to the top. Minimize. Stella over there. And you can take a look at this. Plug in the wrong one? Nope. Be good. There. There's a mess of cords down here. I know. At the end of every show. 
look at the craziness that I goes on uh, with the debug colors on. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so to do all the stuff at the top, you had to employ many different things going on with the helmets and the flags, actually mostly the poles. One is like player one, player two, like ball and missile. And mm -hmm. he's, he's had to fill in little gaps mm -hmm. here and there to get everything just right. Yeah, lots of repositionings. Uh, this is more complex than it appears. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted to show that. So he's repositioned player one and player two yeah. right across the screen mm -hmm. to get them that far across the screen. So a lot of very precise timing. And uh, you can look in between the bricks, how he's even changing it there. Mm -hmm. um, and he's got some crazy shields going on. Um, he just is... Looks like he's keeping the repetition going on. I don't know. It's very complex. Hmm. Um, so we'll switch back. So that's just really interesting to see. Back to the Atari. This one. Yep, I will. So we've got all the options. We've got player four, which we don't we won't play. We'll play play two players. Two or players? double. You wanna play two? Yep. Speed. And we'll play against computer. Slow. Fast. Uh, we'll go fast. We'll go catch. We've played this game, so yes. we should be very good at it. And it's on no. children's? <laughs> no. Or not on children's. Okay. Fast catch. Yep. So this is variation number three. Excellent. I suppose it says cool. <laughs> it is cool. Okay, ready? Do it. Okay, which one am I? I am orange. Which one are you? I'm orange. Oh, which one am I? Oh, I'm purple. Good, because you're dying. I stopped moving because you needed to figure out who you were. <laughs> ah! And you're almost dead. Uh. Just remember, I came third at, at PRG. This is true. <laughs> A whole third place. Third place out of what? Out of four. Four? Four whole contestants in the whole competition. But I came, I didn't come last, so. Oh, you're trying to get me? Oh, come on, guy. Dude, play. Oh, damn it. See, I'm trying to take out the enemies, and you're trying to take me out? I'm not trying to take so you out. So unfair. That is entirely untrue. You shot the ball right at me. What? That guy doesn't know what he's doing. He can't. He doesn't know that the guy's dead. No. Keep shooting at him. Sorry. Almost got him out of there. There we go. Yeah. Now it's your turn. Ah. Oh my god. Ah! No! Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> that was so close. It's, like it's hard to me to get that angle. Ah! Oh, <laughs> kill myself. <laughs> Did you get a trophy though? No. Not for third place. <laughs> I got the satisfaction of being in third. I guess there are no extra balls? It's not uh, like the no. Atari age version. Yep. Daryl Spice Jr. took this to the nth degree. Nth degree and made it like the arcade. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Still, this version is also good. Oh, yeah. This is the OG version. OG! Yeah, Way to green. take yourself out. <laughs> the green guy came, went out last time, too. Yeah. Ah! Stop trying to get the green guy. And he's so slow. You can always get him. Oh. So slow. I need to work on my Warlords gameplay for our quad tari. You do. Ugh. How did you do that? Uh, I don't know. It... How do you get the angle to me? Hmm. 
Love it when it never actually comes. Ah! It's going so slow and you're getting together. I know it happens sometimes. Oh my god, that's close. I have an opening now. I'm gonna die. <gasps> yeah. Okay, we can't play this forever. Okay. Uh, yeah, Warlords. It is great game. a fantastic Truthfully, game. Truthfully, I never played it when I collect a card to look too blocky. Oh really? Yeah, it is the such a strategy good game. in this game with four players is out of control. <laughs> out of control. You, yeah. You have to play this with four. Yes. It's the only way to it play this. It is so <laughs> much fun because it's so chaotic. It's such a chaotic game. And when you play the version, the Atari Age version, what, what is it called? It's not the Atari Age. It's it's uh, uh, Medieval Mayhem. Medieval it's, Mayhem. Well, it is through Atari Age. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Daryl Spice Jr. Spiceware. Yes. Spiceware. Sorry, Spiceware. Um, uh, with four people, it's just so chaotic. It's so much fun. It is. And with the extra balls. That just adds a whole level to it. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the last game mm -hmm. is a joystick game. Yeah. So plug in the joystick. Thank you. Everybody ready for the reveal? Finally. Have I teased you enough? <laughs> Are we showing it? No. Um, go into it. I... Oh, a new mystery game. Okay, wait. Wait. Okay. You're showing it? Wait. 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 Why are you showing it? Because it says preview. And it oh, says new right. mystery game. <laughs> but you were scared people would see it. I forgot what I labeled it. <laughs> I forgot what I labeled it. I'm just making sure. <laughs> All this mystery and not... Oh, you're so funny. I know. Just yeah. in case. Just in case. <laughs> so this is a game from 1979. It's one of the okay. very early games. It uh, originally a 2K game. Okay. It's now an F8 8K game, and there's 16 variations on this. 16! Yep, so a few. Mm. Um, and somebody did guess what it was. Oh, okay. Yep, because there was a number of guesses. Um, people trying to figure out what the game was. Yeah. Can't seem to find that list anymore. Um... <laughs> What That's okay. It? Oh, it's gone. Just drag oh, it there out. It is. There we go. Yeah, so let's see. Yep. Yeah, one person did guess it. So are okay. you ready? Mm-hmm. Everyone? Uh it's a mystery it's mystery game time. I already know one one bug, so more work has to be done before the <laughs> Here we go. It's outlaw. Woo! It's got a beautiful sign there. And Cat kiss. Blow away, six shooter. Catcus. Catcus. Nice. Would that be the bug? <laughs> <laughs> and you can see in the bottom corner it says dead. Dollar sign one. Nice. As if there's a. Uh... And look at that. When you change the options, it shoots the sign. Get away, six shooter. Blow away. Coach. Coach moves, wall moves. Catcus. Catcus. I want the catcus. <laughs> oh, the catcus. There's been no cats. <gasps> Atari! Oh. Atari! Pixel! Are you? Pixel! Kitties. So, um. There's a beautiful screen. <gasps> did you start it? I didn't need to. Two I don't player know this or one player? All. What did you depict? Gotcha. Well, it looks like two player. <laughs> oh, cheater! <gasps> Oh, the bullet continues. It doesn't disappear. So not only do you have to get the other person first, you have to not get hit. You've got the cat kiss in the way. Rebounds once. Whoa. Oh, he got me. Yeah, David Crane's first game. Is it? Yeah. Because technically you're both in the right position, <laughs> right? Yeah. If you don't move after you, uh, after you shoot. Ooh. 
This is like the basic game. <laughs> just pick the cactus and two players. I wanted the cactus. The catcus. <laughs> catcus. So that wasn't the bug? A <laughs> bad speller <laughs> Omega Matrix. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I could change it to a little kitty cat. Put the cat in the way. An invulnerable kitty cat. Where is that kitty cat? Atari! Atari! I'm gonna go get him in a second. Oh, oh yes. Me. Okay. Pull dead. You can change the setting. Maybe yep, so we'll take a look at the matrix for this now. Okay. Uh, so we'll go to screen capture. Come on, switch to the computers. Go full screen. What are we on? Mystery game. Okay, so here is the uh, matrix for uh, Outlaw, and I think it was also cal called Gunslinger because Sears like to rename their game. So there's game number one to twelve. There's Blow Away, Get Away, Six Shooter. Cactus. Oh, he's very Pixel. grumpy. <laughs> he's he normally grumpy. He, oh no, stay with no, us. No, you're okay. Stay. Buddy. You can stay. Yeah. Uh, cactus, stagecoach, wall, and moving barrier. Mm. And you can blow away things uh, as well, like the cactus mm. or the stagecoach. Break it. Uh, break break it, it down. Yeah. Mm. Or a wall. Uh, there's also a target shoot. One player. Mm. I'm laughing so hard I'm crying. <laughs> Need smaller player sprites. <laughs> Well, that's the game what it was. Yep. You don't want to change it. You want to just add a menu to it. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the game and check out some of the more some more of the options. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Grumpies. Grumpy. Be on the floor. Okay. Alright. What what options? Two player? One player? You uh, wanna no, do one two player? player? No? Okay. Some more options. Six shooter. Um Six shooter is you, you can run you shoot six times and, and then you have to wait for the other person to finish their oh. six. Then you both get reloaded. So definitely turn that on. Get away. Turn on the six shooter. Turn on the blow away. And uh, change it to stagecoach moving stagecoach. Yeah. Because we haven't seen a stagecoach. Okay, let's do it. Oh, little jump there. No! Angles are hard on this one. Oh my god. Oh my god. And while it's firing, I can't move. Until it hits something. Oh, yeah, it's true. So you have to really be crafty with that. That stagecoach is looking a bit rough. <gasps> oh, oh yeah! Oh no! Nice! Oh, I'm out of bullets. Nope. Ooh. Uh, oh, both, double both hit! Couldn't move. Oh. <gasps> nice. oh, you can't move very fast. No, and they're very chunky guys. Oh, my God! I'm out of bullets. Damn it! You've got one bullet left. Okay. There we go. Oh, I just caught my hat. I guess. My head goes all the way to the top of my hat. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just missed it. Now I'm out of bullets. Time to avoid. <laughs> uh, so hard. One more bullet for you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Rage reset. Yeah. Darcy's back. Is Darcy back? <laughs> oh my god, you can't see it. What? They couldn't see it. Oh no! You're fired! Oh no! Pixel will fix it. <laughs> it's doable. <laughs> oh, Pixel, come back here! Tanya won. Yeah, of course. Of course. See, <laughs> when I win, suddenly it's not broadcast, so. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. Here, you can play the second player. <laughs> wall. We'll do a wall. Okay. Uh, oops, damn it. Don't want wall moves. Uh, not as. Oh! 
what you, you doing? can't have a wall without a six shooter. Yeah. You can have a wall moves. Mm -hmm. I don't. I just want a wall. That's interesting. What? Where can I get the wall back? Just a wall. You don't pick the six shooter. You keep picking. Yeah. Yeah. Then go up. There. So you have to blow away and six, six shooter, shooter to have the wall. Yeah. Okay. I'm on the left now. Okay, you gotta shoot. You can't shoot me because you have to destroy the wall. Mm. Waiting. <laughs> Waiting. <laughs> this is kind of a slow game. This one's maybe not the best option. Maybe a moving wall would be better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Because uh, you have to kind of get rid of the wall first. Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah, I'm not, not too keen on this version. No. Oh, no, I like the other version better. I saw flicker. Yeah, there was a tiny bit of flicker in the tr green transition on this one. Okay. Yeah. No, not liking this one as much. Okay. Five pixels. Uh, let's do a moving wall. And I Get don't like the six shooter. I, I want to no? just have infinite. I like the six shooter because it gives it a different dimension, but. Yar's Revenge. It's Yar's Revenge. You have a machine gun. Oh, what? Am I out of bullets? No. I'm just unplugged. Wait, wait. I'm just hitting wall. Wait. Relax. Where's my, where's my plug? There it is. Oh. Hey! <laughs> you got it back. fair at all. <laughs> oh! There we go. <laughs> two, two. Oh, oh I got you. Much wall left. Oh. Oof. I'm like, oh no. Accidentally hit the wall now. Oh, this guy moves so slow. Ah. Ah. Yes. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. First to ten. <laughs> Arena Foot's counting it up. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Nine, ten. Nine, ten. <laughs> uh, now, there are some single player variations mm. that are totally different. Yeah. So go to player one. Um, I, Blow away, that's no, it. No, 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 no. Go. Oh, okay. That's it. Not okay. a lot. Yeah. I don't think it's an AI. No. I think it's a moving target. Yeah. So try it. You want to play? No. There we go. Yay! Oh, I did. I played this for oh, test. Oh, it's time. I played this for testing, and I think it goes up to twenty-five bounces. Oh my goodness! And a piece of the wall survived. <laughs> this is. This is. I don't know how you win at this game. You have to move. Oh yeah, with 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 the coach. It's like going. so fast. There's no way. Well, you got three. Yeah, but three. But Four. it's already at thirty. Three one. It's um, going up, but with every bounce, like you'd have to hit it every single go. time without the coach being there. There, time it. 
between... You can't, because the coach is moving at a different speed. <laughs> I don't... Oh, there we go. You can get some of them. You can get some of them. Yeah. So you kind of have to find a spot that kind of works, but I don't know. some of the time. Like moving up and then down, moving up and down maybe somehow. For target practice with destructive stage coach, I use destroy part of the coach and walk diagonally and then hold the button. Don't move backwards with the button pressed and then get to the other side? You can get to the other side? I don't know. Anyway. Interesting. Yep. Interesting. Try the cactus. Mm. With one player. Not one player. There you go. So, you just get out of the way of the cactus. My timing's awful. <laughs> you could do it. There you go. Ah! Terrible timing! Come on! Get closer. Yes. Nope, doesn't help. <laughs> what is it? It hits the top, maybe. Mm. I mean, it's exactly the same each time when you fire. If you've got a good spot. Yeah, you still. Maybe I can. Can I get past? Ah! One more. <laughs> can you get past now? A little bit. Oh, it doesn't let you. Oh, it does. Oh, you can get right up to it. <laughs> Still kill me. So but you, you, you are right. Sense. Captain yeah. Classic says you can get closer. Yeah. That's true. Less delay for the reload. Yeah. So what's the world record on this thing? <laughs> you go boom, 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 kill the cactus, and then go right up to it? Uh -huh. Let me try. You, you try. Right back. So technically, you would want to do this. You go boom, boom, boom. Walk right up to it. not great <laughs> there we go looking forward to the ROM as Ramirez says I think we have made it through all of the games now so thank you so much S from uh, not S Ramirez Omega Matrix for sending over outlaw the new game here it is the screen which is awesome and interactive you can shoot the sign. Boom, boom, boom. And you can see in the lower corner, dead, $14, $3. Really cool little, oh, oops. Press start. Mm. I'm just playing Adventures of Tron for high score contest. Uh, boom, boom. So really, really cool. Love it. Um, so the person that was right was Slope Toff, who guessed Outlaw in, uh, on the, uh, forums. I can't remember, what, not the forums, yeah, not the forums, on the, uh, Facebook pages. So it was Slope Toff, guessed Outlaw, just one person. And, uh, and he surprised everybody in the thread because nobody was requesting this one. Oh, well, there was a cat down there. He was just sitting there. Hi. Why don't you want to be on screen? No, no, oh. stay on screen. Stay on the stay, screen. Stay on screen. Please. Get lots of pets. Yeah. He's like, I don't want pets. He doesn't like being touched. <laughs> <laughs> Only when he wants to be touched. Yeah. Um, so thank you everybody for watching this fun run through mm -hmm. of all these really cool menus. Really fun. <laughs> and it gave us uh, a, a unique chance to play some old games mm -hmm. because we don't play games on this. Uh, old games on this show. We only play homebrew, but there's homebrew menus. So it was a Sneaky workaround to play some old Atari games. I mean, we do play um, games for patches. That was also a sneaky workaround to play Activision games mm -hmm. as well. Friday night show? There's a Friday night show yes. as well. <laughs> <clears throat> and what we're going to be playing on the Friday night show is... Let me get up my schedule. It was a good sneaky workaround. I like seeing these old games again. <laughs> yep. We're going to be playing um, a new build of Spire of the Ancients, the 7800 game. 
Um, and we have an exclusive update for Robotron 2084. <gasps> Yay, that's such a fun game. Yes. I could just play that for three hours straight. Yeah. <laughs> so that should be fun. And mm -hmm. something else as well that I don't know yet. Oh, and start a vacation week for Arena oh, Foot as well. Yay. You're on vacation. I'm right on now vacation too. week, yes. Yes. Yeah. So you'll be both on vacation. Very happy. Yes. 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 Thank you so much, Jeff, for uh, making these awesome menus. Yes. And um, they yeah. look great. They, they look do. great. And they just make it so much easier to play. Oh, my God. So much easier to play. <laughs> just pick what you want and away you go. And to access yeah. all the variations rather than consulting yeah. a matrix, trying to figure yeah. out the number. Yeah. Pressing the button down five, yeah. like a hundred times, some of them yep. literally. It will definitely reappear when we have our Quatari. Oh yeah, we'll be yeah. playing the, uh, the Olympics. Definitely the Video yeah. Olympics. Video Olympics. And also the Medieval Mayhem. Yes. Probably not Warlords. Well, not we, Warlords. Yeah. Medieval Mayhem is much more interesting. But definitely. And probably Indy 500 yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. of the variations of yeah, that. For sure. That was really fun. Yeah. Um. Probably th those are the games that we would play mm -hmm. on the Quadtari Olympics or whatever it's going to be called. That's a good name for it, though, because yeah. we'll be competing in every game to see who's the best at each game. Because we'll be doing eliminations, oh, especially, especially on the games you can only have two, <laughs> two players at a time. So it'll be two, two, and then yeah, the winner and then the down. loser, the loser, loser, right? <laughs> the losers play. Do then... we get the patch? We need to get that patch. We can make a patch. No, no, the patch. Um, oh, the loser's patch? The loser's patch. Whoever is the loser gets the loser's patch. I need something to strive towards because I'm definitely You can not buy competing. another loser's patch. No. I'm not giving that away. Yeah, you should be giving that away. Uh, no, I'm not giving it away. Yes. No. Yeah. wonder how much patches. We can make patches. Get somebody. No, I want that patch. <laughs> You want the patch. You I know I'm going to come last, so want I want the, the patch. patch. You don't want the patch. No, I want the patch because I'm lose coming on purpose. last. People will lose on purpose to get the patch. Then. No, I like the you suck patch, I think. <laughs> oh, it is very I know cool. I'm going to get it, so even even though I'm going to try to not get it. So anyway. <laughs> fun stuff. Yes, very fun patch. stuff. Yeah. Everybody's saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Quadtari Teenage Ride is the name <laughs> of my band. For real? No. That is awesome. <laughs> It's awesome. only five dollar patch. Yeah. True. Plus shipping. Yep. Where's their shipping? Maybe it's included. Not to the, not to Canada. Much. That's for sure. No. <laughs> it's definitely not included to Canada. You can just get another one. Yes. yes. Um. Yes, and then uh, at some point, like I've been reminding people, we will be out of commission for two to three weeks. We're at not sure point, when, though. We're not sure when right now. Maybe September. Maybe even on October. It could. Maybe November. Out. No. Who knows? Well, I don't know. Yeah. Never know. Hopefully sometimes. But they haven't told us when we're going to fit in the schedule. Uh, yeah. All this we, brown garbage carpet's going out. Yeah. Um, and the walls are being repainted. And are Not in here, though. Not in here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the bedroom is getting a walk-in closet. Yeah. Um, well, once so, once the carpets are down, then you can move everything back into this room. That's so. going to be last. For sure. Yeah. But but at the end of the day, that's... Yeah. That's... Yeah. I can move everything in. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, two to three weeks. Yeah. It sucks, but I'll give you fair warning. Well, well you, you can probably fit in a couple of little shows, but they might be from our upstairs or something. We'll have to figure that out. No, it'd be a nightmare to set all this up and get it all working we'll properly. We'll see. Because it has to involve this big, a big TV. Well, we have a big TV. And my computer, well, which is can... not going to be near the big TV. Yeah, it can That's be. That's the problem. We can make that work. Well, I'm, there's no promises, but there nightmare. might be one or two, but it's not going to be the twice a week, so... Whatever it's no, going no, it wouldn't be. It'd no. be a one-off, maybe some yeah. fun little thing. I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Um, we'll see. And we've got the John Shampoo Developer Spotlight coming up at some point. Yeah. That is dependent on the release date of Zookeeper, um, when it's actually for sale, when I actually get it, mm. and also fitting it around the carpet rip-up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either before it or after it. Yeah. No game values, price guide, but we'll have a rarity. Yeah, there's no point in putting game values in no. in for the homebrew games because, one, it fluctuates. It fluctuates a lot. And yeah. it's in a book. You don't want to put prices in a book mm. when they're fluctuating. The only way you could do that is if it's like stuff that's like 50 years old and the price just is like this, slowly creeping with inflation. Yeah. And some games are still being made. So the rarity rating is a better way of doing it 
I think he's doing like rarity of it's still available or rarity of there was only 10 made good luck yeah <laughs> <laughs> like that didn't feel like three hours no it yeah. went by fast because we we're just like boom 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 mm. game 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 um but that is it for tonight thank you for tuning in captain classic arena foot dan avc the d train spiceware miss command i sposta and thank you for making the uh hack off the uh, at the top of the show Mm. You had the Doctor versus Daleks. Yeah, that very his, cool. That was his hack with nice. the Omega Matrix yeah, menu. Yeah, that was very cool. Uh, Omega Matrix, of course, thank you for uh, tuning in and answering people's questions yeah. and making all these amazing menus. Uh, Esmeralda's 2008, Miss Command, Nutty03, who is, I think, a newish name. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, Metal Lunar 7. Uh, Metal Atari 1969. Esmeralda's in there. Esmeralda's. Dan ABC. Those lucky people who get their name said twice. Flackets. Flackets. Uh, so where'd you got Spiceware? Did you? Yeah, I'm not listening to you. <laughs> like. And that's as far as we scroll. <laughs> there we go. Fun show. Yeah. R1 Common. Available today. Mm -hmm. R6 Super Rare. Yeah. I also go by T-Man 03. Nice. Is that what you go by in the Atari Age forums? Mm -hmm. Or just random places? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um <clears throat> So thanks a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll be back on Friday, same yes. time, 6 p.m. Yep. With her again, mm -hmm. so I don't need to change the names. Yeah, hopefully they'll still say uh, still say Tanya, not Darcy, but oh, we'll see. There we go, full screen. Yay! Messed he's up he's twice I know. Well, you know what? It's hard to do uh, do a billion things at once. Do all these once. things yeah. all at once. The notes. It's nice the that video the changing. people in the chat keep on top of it. That's right. We can't us. see. Yeah. <laughs> cats, <laughs> it's it's please really help cats. it's really glad that there is no audio because it would be a lot of people going change this screen <laughs> yeah it's but, august uh, the dog days yes everyone's tired everyone yeah. is tired zero page homebrew producer <laughs> we, we fired him yeah he's gone yeah he did long a bad gone. job long yeah. Gone. yeah uh yeah that's it mm -hmm. yeah we'll be back on friday 6 p.m mm -hmm. for some more uh homebrew gaming mm -hmm. this time some actual homebrew Yay! This was homebrew menus. Homebrew menus. That's so it still fit a cool. In, yeah. Squeaked in under yeah. the wire. Under the wire. <laughs> yep. Anything homebrew. Uh, yes, he was rage. Re reset rage. Raged, yeah. Going on yeah. here. Posting for a new producer. Yeah, look for the listing on Atari Age uh, forums. <laughs> yeah. For the new, new producer. That's right. Maybe I'll apply. Yep. Oh, you want to do all the switching? No, and, I don't. And reading I really and, don't. <laughs> re and all the researching? I'm not doing that. And play testing? And, no. No? Okay. No. Should be in a boticon with a sounder bell. Yeah, bing, 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 bing. Well, you, whenever somebody subscribes or follows or does little bits, but they cost yeah. money, so yeah, yeah. Uh, can I, Arena Foot? You are very far away. You have to be local. <laughs> you have to like click things here. So it doesn't quite work. Remotely out. probably wouldn't work as good. Not as good. So we will, uh, did you have sounds for bits and subs? Yes. Uh, everything should make a sound. Yeah, now. Yeah. Can I do it? Yeah. Let's see. I've got bits. Are you bidding? Oh, I can't You can't do your own, own channel. No, it's I like, can't do it. So it's if like anybody... liking your own post. Oh, I can you do can't this. Do that. I think I can do this. Highlight your message. Good. Yep. Test. Did That's it. Do it. anything? Probably ignores me. No, because it's it's you're just highlighting. I don't think. Oh, it's the it same. doesn't do anything for highlighting messages. Yeah. Nope. There we go. Five yeah, bits. Yeah. Woo! It does make a noise. See, it makes a noise. So, if you wanted to do bits, <laughs> I think that's five cents. That's Something not, like that. I don't a, know. That's not a big price. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you could do that to get my attention, I'd look over, and I go bits, five bits. Oh, I should pay attention to the chat. Yeah. So that's a way. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Enough battle. That's all right. We'll let you go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> all the East Coast people and Europeans. Oh, yeah. Very, very late there. Um, so thanks for hanging out. And yep. we'll see you on Friday. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good week. Have a good week. Weekend? What day is it? Week. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Week. Have a good week. Bye. Have a good week.